Hey, welcome to another video. So in this one, we're doing the VR missions finally for Metal Gear Solid 1. I've done Fox Rank already, just check the playlist and there'll be a text guide for this guy's linked in the description. So most of these are pretty straightforward. Um, I'm gonna be doing it on the integral version. It'll work, I know for sure it works on special missions and the integral VR disc. On the VR missions, the separate, the third tab on the right on your game selection screen, yeah, third one, VR missions, apparently it doesn't pop on there. But it might have been patched since, but I know for sure it pops on special missions and integral, the VR disc inside it. Just bear in mind, if you do an integral, to unlock the ninja missions, you have to complete the campaign on the highest, highest difficulty for whatever rank you complete it on. But it's got to be above very easy difficulty. So the highest rank, so for hard that would be Fox, and um, for extreme that would be Big Boss, etc, etc. If you follow my first video, the Fox rank, we actually did Fox rank on integral, so you've already got the ninja missions unlocked. Yeah, and it should be, yeah, these three. These are what you unlock when you complete integral with the highest difficulty, uh, the highest rank, sorry, for that difficulty you're playing on. So we'll start with sneak mode guys, no weapon and practice. You've got to do a practice and the time attacks for whatever levels have the time attack version. So he's going to run up, you're going to throw him and then quickly get in the exit. We get our first trophy, that's just for completing any VR mission. Some of these missions you can't be spotted otherwise you fail. But when it comes to throwing an enemy, it, it sort of gives you a small window to get past them before they see you. But if you get too close to the enemy guys, they will spot you. So when you go through them like so, you got to be about a step away when you do it, when you press square. Otherwise, when you go press square, they're going to spot you and you're going to fail. So that's level two done. Level three, just run up to this guy on the left, quickly throw him and then crawl through a crawl space and head to the exit. Level 4, just take the long way around here. A little bit longer than try and do it the quick way, but the quick way is a little bit tricky. Uh, this way, you can't really fail it. Impressive. Level 5 next. So the light blue flooring is going to make a noise when you run on it. But you want to quickly lob one of these snaking enemies and then run to the exit through the middle. And one of the enemies on the top left or top right might hear something. Um, but as long as you're quick and go through the middle line, they shouldn't see you guys. You can actually swerve away from the guy who hears something if you want. Just play a bit safer. Here, just avoid the cameras and head to the exit. Impressive. Level 7. There's five lasers here. If you're quick, you can run past the first two, past the enemy, and through the next two. And then when I get to here, equip your six, so you can see the laser, guys, and then go beneath it once it moves out of the way. And into the exit. Right, this one. Key thing here is the walls are only one block high, so the enemies can see above them. So to play it safe, just crawl all the way to the exit pretty much. You can get up and run in between when they're moving forward or back, but you've got to be very careful of the timing. So if you want to play it safe, just crawl all the way there, and then when they start walking back, you can head to the exit. Now this one's very, very annoying. It's very awkward this one. you got to sort of get as far as you can and then equip your cardboard box. But don't equip it too late, because when you do equip it, it takes about a second for you to steady yourself. Yeah, it's getting into a cardboard box is no easy task, especially when done at speed. And they just got slowly work forward, guys. It can be just on the outer, the sort of outer rim of the, um, Cameras field of vision, the FOV. As you saw me there, you know where it starts to fade? You can actually be in there and not be seen. So just bear that in mind. 
yeah, like I say, it's a little bit awkward that one. So it might take you a few tries. It's not really any good way to do that. It's just awkward. So here. You can just make it like that. Sometimes you might get spotted. But if you just keep to the sort of lower wall. And just sort of run to the far end. And then take a north turn at the end. You can sort of make it. Right here. Run up to that guy. Lob him. Run up here. Keep left. That's it. Between them guys. Straight along this trap door. Throw him. And then in the exit. A lot of these. It's all about time. If you want to do them quick like I am guys. It's all about your timing. So here. Just run to the left. Then once he turns. Run past him. He turns around very, very fast. So if you time it right, you can knock on the wall. And then as he comes around the corner, quickly throw him before he spots you. Or if you want to play a bit safer, knock on the wall. Wait for him to check. Wait for him to turn around and walk back. And then run behind and throw him. A few different ways to do it. So here, you're just going to wait for him to turn around. And they're going to go and lob him. And then head to the north exit. But take the left path. Yeah, just watch out for the searchlights. So this one, you want to knock on the wall in front of you first to get the ag to get the aggro of that nearest enemy. Whatever way he comes around, go the opposite way and go left. Come up to this guy on the left, lob him, and then make way up to the exit, guys, like so. This will be the final one for practice with no weapon. So you want to come to the left, wait for that camera to move back. Sneak underneath it. And then sneak up into the north exit, guys. Nice and easy. Right, so got to do them all again, but now it's time trial. Time trial, things change very slightly on some of the missions. Not all of them, just some of them. Yeah, see in the top right, it now says 5%. We need to get that to 100%. And it's like 300 missions. Right, so this one's pretty much the same. Just run up to him, lob him, go into the exit. This is time trial now. You don't have to get the number one. You do not have to get on the scoreboard, guys. It doesn't matter if you're not number one, number two, or number three. But you have to do it within the time limit you're given. Otherwise, it'll just automatically fail. Like there, I've got 25 seconds. So here, you go right and then up along the middle and throw him. And then go, go into the exit. If you take another way... You're likely going to get spotted. So just go that way. Next stage. Yeah, don't just bam the button when you complete these ones. Otherwise, you're going to press a button on save replay. This one's exactly the same. Lob a guy from behind. Crawl past the second one. And head to the exit. So this one's quite different. There's another enemy now. So what you want to do, wait for him to come around the corner and lob him before he turns like so. And then run to the exit. Excellent. So you want to come on the floor in front, attract that guy behind the block. Once he runs around, run across the other side of the wall. And head tra straight to the exit. So a few more cameras now. So just be careful. But same applies. Just stay beneath the cameras. And get to the exit. So you just do the same again guys, run past the first four lasers, keep left to avoid the enemy, then use your cigarettes near the far one, wait for it to rise up above your head, and then go through. Excellent. 
exactly the same. Just crawl upwards. The guards are not moving now, forward and back. They're just going to keep looking sort of south and then inwards. So again, just crawl all the way to the exit. Next stage. There's one additional camera now. You've got another camera on the left here. So the same again, guys. Awkwardly, try to make your way up. Transform into a cardboard box when you sort of run out of clear space. And then try to slowly nudge forward when the cameras give you a chance. Remember, at the limits of their field of view, where the um, their, their sort of vision mark on the radar starts to fade, you can sort of move in that area. Yeah, once you're near the end and the camera goes all the way to the left or right, you can unequip your box and then quickly just make a dart for it, guys. For the exit point. So again, just take the same path as before. You might get spotted depending on how close you are to the wall. And you can just get past him like so. You can actually run straight up to that guy and um, throw him if you want to. But that normally works. So, going to throw him. Up here, go left a bit more. Did you see I took? I went left more and then come across some trapdoors now. Come across here, lob him. There you go. So your path in there is very, very important, guys. If you fail there, follow my exact pathing. Because your guards are a little bit different there. So the guards are quite different here. There's a, a additional guard as well at the top. So you want to knock on the wall here. And that guard will walk all the way to the east. And then walk south. And because he walks east quite a bit. You can actually just sort of sneak in behind him. You want to knock on that middle wall. And then when that guard goes around to inspect. Go and hide on the right. And then quickly run in behind him. And when the other guard turns his back. Run to the exit. So same again, you're just going to lob him from behind. And then head to the exit, guys. By keeping left. Yeah, wait for him to turn his back. Yep, simple. So if you're quick here, look at the radar and look at the enemy's field of vision. And you've got to sort of swerve in and out of them. If you take that same route guys, just look at the radar, watch how far their sight extends. And just sort of swerve left to right a few steps like you see all me doing. This one, come right, that guy will look down. Then when he looks back to the west, throw him. And he can pretty much run all the way to the exit. Just keep to the wall to avoid the camera and the other guards. There we go, guys. That's no weapon done. 30, that's 30 done. Um, th what is that? I think it's that 10% now. 10%? Yeah. So I save quite a lot. I save quite often. If you ever decide to close a game, guys, and you're not finished all these, make sure you save your game before doing so. It does not auto save on this, you need to make sure you manually save on the VR screen. Right, so doing um, sneaker mode, sock him now. So you're going to shoot him and then run to the exit. Yeah, you normally have to shoot most of the enemies to make the exit appear. Not always, but I'll let you know. But yeah, that one you have to shoot him. And if you get spotted, you'll fail. So you've got to be quite careful that you don't get seen. Yeah, remember your weapon will auto lock on enemies to some extent. Let's carefully got to pick off the rest. Yeah, try to do it as they come around the corner. Or if not, just try to make sure you're not too close to them. You do not want to get spotted there. So because the two on the left, they're always facing forward. You can if you're lucky or if you're just good. You can try to kill them just from around the corner without them spotting you, but it's a bit tricky. So safe way is to just come up behind these two and shoot them from behind. 
Yep, so kill them two from behind. And then go first crawl space and kill this guy from behind as well. No points for being honourable here, guys. Just shoot him from behind. There you go, level 3. You've got to do all these again, but in time trial mode, just like the no weapon version. So quickly come left and kill that guy. And then kill this guy at the bottom. And then come around here. And you can kill this guy just as he comes around this corner. And then there's one, two more left. Got him up there. And the one on the far left. Just careful because he will turn around as you just saw him do for me. So these will start walking down towards you. So if you start from the one on the left and just work your way right. Yes, yeah, not too not too bad. The time trial versions when you're using a weapon, they're pretty much the same. They just give you less they give you much less ammo. So if you think this is to make it easier because of the amount of ammo you have, that will change on time trial. Right, so three guards here. Carefully take them out while avoiding the cameras. And then just do not forget to avoid the cameras when you go towards the exit. Impressive, Impressive you've done that one. Seven. So you can run straight through the first two lasers. And we'll kill that guy. And you want to knock on the wall to attract the guard ahead. That's it. And then come down a bit so you don't see you. Then turn and face in this direction and shoot him. And the noise he makes when he drops should alert the third and final guard. Shoot him as well. And then all you got to do, guys, is carefully get past the lasers. Yes, yeah, so you could be cigars. That's level seven. So you want to kill the one in front, then one on the right, then move right, and ready to kill the one on the left. And then kill the next two that come down towards you, and then the final one at the top. They will start making way towards you, that's why you've got to quickly make an opening. You know, for you to get through and, and um, stand in, so you can shoot the others without any seeing you. So you've got an enemy at the end of this now. So you, as well as avoiding the annoying little cameras, you've also got to kill two enemies. Yes, yeah, one enemy in the middle and another enemy at the end. I mean, there are less cameras at least. Yeah, just careful. That guy at the top, he will... In the middle of his patrol, he will look south. So just be very careful. When you are ready to move on up, just make sure he's walking to left or right so you can shoot him before he looks down. And you can sort of shoot him as he's sort of walking to the middle. That's it, level 9 done. Level 10. So there's four guards here. Shoot the first one, dead ahead. And then shoot the second one as he comes around the corner to, to investigate him. Yep, and then come along here guys and kill the final two. Kill him one. Should always alert the other one. Because they're sort of they're sort of in pairs here, close together to each other. Right, it's level ten. So here, I come along here along the trapdoors, kill him. Kill that one. Come around here and kill that guy. Yes, yeah, actually an extra guard here. Yeah, kill him. And you've got his guard over here, remember? What you can do is just wait for him to patrol down near the trapdoors and then shoot him before heading across. That's level 11. Level 12. So quite a lot of enemies now. But you find once you start killing one, all the others will sort of follow and then go to investigate his friend falling over. So kill him. And then kill the next guy coming down. And then there'll be two more around the corner. Three shots each guard normally takes. 
And then these two over here. That's it. Yeah, quite a simple one that because they all just keep walking towards you and it's a really long level. So you've got plenty of space to shoot them while outside of their FOB. Right, so here I knock on the wall. As he comes around the corner, shoot him before he turns and faces you. Come over here. Kill that one. Kill the other one which goes to investigate. And then the other one which investigates him. Like a chain reaction. Just drop him one after another in the same place. And then once you kill them all, guys, just make way north, avoiding the search lights. Right, 14. So, yep, so quickly kill this one on the right. He normally walks down to you first, and then just kill all the rest as they start coming down towards you guys. Yes, be careful, it's just likely one patrolling at the top still. In this one, there's actually a guy on the bottom right which will be sleeping. So we're going to kill him last. So if you think you've killed them all and the mission won't complete, <laughs> that is why. But yeah, I kill that one first on the left, then kill this guy when he comes around to investigate. And then kill this guy at the top, kill that guy going up steps. And then kill this guy which patrols over here. Make sure he's dead. Yeah, like I said, there'll be one more. You think you've got them all, but you haven't. He's sleeping all the way over here. Thinks that nobody can see him. And we've got them all, guys, into the exit. So that's the practice versions done. Next, we have to do the time trial versions. Like I say, you have much less ammo on these ones. So time attack. This will be 60 missions. 60 out of 300 done already. So just same again. Like I say, time trial, you've got less ammo now. So you need to be a little bit careful. Don't just run in guns blazing because you're going to run out of ammo pretty quickly. Remember, it takes three ammo to kill one target, uh, sorry, one enemy if you are accurate. So just same again, shoot that bottom one and shoot another one if you go to investigate. If not, pick him off and then kill the one on the bottom right and then go and kill the one on the top. That's it, that should make the exit appear on the top right. Yeah, you don't have to, like I say, you don't have to get first, second or third. You just have to beat the time limit which you're given on each map. Like this one is 40 seconds, it says at the bottom. So we're going to crawl through here and then kill these two on the left from behind. Just give them poo 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 and then a poo 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 on the other one. Well, it's more like a ha 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 the noise they make. There we go. The iconic noise. You're going to get very, very used to that noise across all these VR missions. Right, level four. So the same again. Go left. Kill the one at the top. Go down. Kill the one coming along the bottom right. Go right. You need to be quick here, guys. Otherwise, they're going to run. They're going to get too far t uh, close to you and see you. Come along here. Kill that guy as he comes down there. And kill this guy as he comes around the corner at the top. And then kill the far guy on top left. Don't get too close. He will turn around just as you just saw he did there for me. And then come the exit. I think, what's that? Five enemies. So next stage. Right, so same again. Go straight to left and try to kill all these from left to right. As long as you don't get seen, I mean, this one, there's not really... <laughs> I mean, it's quite a wide open level. So it's not really... It's not really a really optimal way to do it. 
it's more sort of skill that one, just sort of running in, killing them as quick as possible, being as accurate as you can, while avoiding them. Uh, so you got cameras here. Just watch your ammo. I normally kill that first one nearest, and then kill the top one, and then kill the one on the left. As he walks upwards. And wait for that camera to move, and head into the exit. Right, level 7, coming up next. So that guy is actually in a different place, can you see? Just go run straight through the first two lasers, kill him, knock on the wall to track that next guard. Kill him, his mate should hear him. And when it comes to find out what happened, kill him as well. And then equip your six guys and make your way through the next three lasers and into the exit. Plenty of time on this one, one minute. So kill the one in front of you first, and then one on the right, and then go towards the one on the right you just killed. Kill the one on the left as it comes towards you, then kill the one on the top right, and then just kill the other few as they come down to you guys. Yep, yeah, or move up to them. That's it. Just watch your ammo. Right, level 8, level 9. This is that annoying camera one. Good news is, I don't think you have to do this one again. I think this is it, guys. The last time we have to do this. There will be annoying other annoying missions. But this is perhaps the most annoying one involving cameras. So, avoid the first camera. Run up and kill the guards. And then try to slowly make your way north. Just watch out for that guard at the top. Remember, he will face south in the middle of his patrol route. So do not get too close until you're ready to make a move on him. And I don't mean the passionate type. There you go. And go through the exit. Right, so again, just kill the one on your, on your right straight away to begin with. And then kill this one when he comes to investigate him. Yep, and then just go right and kill the final two. This one's fairly simple. Right, so you need to be very quick here. Quickly run up, kill him from behind. Come left, kill that guy. Come to the right here, kill that enemy there. Kill the next one over there, which is going in between them two trapdoors. Uh, come to the left. Now, do not cross them until you kill the enemy. You can see him on the radar. There you go, and then get in the exit. So this one's pretty much the same, exactly the same as before. Just kill the first guard and then kill the rest as they come towards you. Obviously move them forward slightly as well at the same time. Right, level 13. This one, same again as we did before. Knock on the wall. When he comes towards you, just round the corner, shoot him before he faces you. And then come to right over here, kill that guy, and the rest should follow. And just kill them all as they come to investigate him. And then head towards the exit, guys, while avoiding the searchlight. Here, kill one on the right first, and then just kill all the enemies, guys, and sort of make their way down to you, make your way to 
towards you. Um, if any of them seem to stop appearing, there might be one guy patrolling at the top. Because this guy at the far north, yeah, he always likes to stick around near the exit where it spawns. So first of all, kill that guy. Come around the corner quickly before the camera looks down. Kill this guy when he goes to investigate. And same as before, come up, keep him to the left, kill that guy, kill a guy on the steps. Kill that guy just over there. And then kill a guy on the bottom right who's having a nap. Yep, so that's sneaking mode done, guys. Should be on 20% done now. So next will be weapon mode. Yeah, I'm just going to make a save. Actually, I best save this video as well in case it crashes. Yeah, so um, weapon mode will be next. Yeah, so we'll jump straight into weapon mode, guys. And we'll start with um, soccer. Yeah, you got to do this with each weapon. So we need to destroy all the targets. Very simple that one. And later you have to do this on time attack. Where similar to sneaker mode, you'll have less ammo. Another simple one, just six targets to shoot. Shoot the first two closer to you to begin with. And then I just do the final four in like a... Um, clockwise rotation Impressive. bit trickier because the targets are moving but I always come right first and shoot that one sort of at about two o'clock and then shoot the one to the top and then the one to the bottom right then come to the left shoot that one on the bottom left and then shoot one on the left and then the one on the top and you're golden This one, I come to the right first, kill that one on the bottom right, and then the one on the bottom left, and then the one to the east, followed by the one to the northwest as they rotate around, followed by that one to the, did I say northwest? I meant southwest, and then the one on the northwest, and the one on the northeast. They will slowly be sort of rotating around, so um, you take a bit longer, you just have to go to where they are, and shoot them. So this one, some of these will kind of face in and face out again. You can tell where they are because you'll see the shadow. Yep, they've gone invisible, but they still cast a shadow. So just watch out for that. But yeah, I normally just do a few near, a few down to the bottom right, bottom left and top left. And then just visit. Yep, down here again, where you see them sort of facing in and facing out. Right, so that's level 5, time attack level 1. Yeah, luckily there's only 5 of each of these guys. Right, so time attack. So of course we've got only one magazine now. Well, not quite, I mean, kind of two, one and a half. So yeah, just be very careful with your bullets. Just like before, it would take 3 to destroy one. So destroy the bottom two. And then kill the final four in a clockwise formation. Just just imagine you're looking at a clock and you start at 10 o'clock and then go 11, 1 and finish at 3 and you're good. And then into the exit. So same before, I'm just going to go right first and destroy that one at about 2 o'clock and then the top one and then the bottom right. And then go to the left. Shoot that one just below you, and then the one on the left, and then the one on the top. Yes, and the exit will appear in the middle. 
and jump into it, give yourself a bit of a fist pump and it'll go into level 4. So level 4, bottom right, bottom left, the right, the left, the top left, I was going to say I like to work in opposites but I messed that pattern up, and then top right, and then in the exit. Next up is level 5. Again guys, do not worry if you do not, do not make the scoreboard. All you have to do is deal within the time limit. So you have the top one to begin with, top one on the right, then the bottom right, and then the bottom left. And then the top right, and the top left. And another top left. And then the bottom left. And the bottom right. And then jump in the middle. Yeah. Jump in the air and punch that pigeon. And then we'll move on to the next weapon, which will be a Famous. Uh, sorry, not Famous, C4. C4, careful for you should be released. Yep, so just put a bomb near the wall, run away and press circle to um, make it go kablooey. And then once the wall has been obliterated, you can go into the exit. Right, and with these, put one in the middle of each pair of targets. And once you've done so, head into the exit. To find the exit, you're basically looking like a massive, it's like a massive sort of needle pointing down. Sort of telling you where to walk for the exit. It's basically X marks the spot type thing. Right, with these, be careful because they will chain, re they will cause a chain reaction. And chain reactions are never good, especially when you're within the proximity of the explosion. So just play it safe. Put more than one down if you need to. If you're really good, you can blow all of them up with one C4. Um, I had to hold off from doing that. So I just did it with three, just for guide purposes. Right, in this one, put one here and wait for them to line up and do four at once. And the same again, wait for these two to line up and Bang, yep, kill them too. Right, back into the exit. Level five is next. Right, so this one, put one down when you spawn and then run to the left. Now when them four disappear, yeah, do them four on the right. Do four on the right to begin with, then put one here at the top of the steps. Wait for them four to rest on the top of the wall and then detonate it. And then come over here Put one near that wall and then this, you've got to be quite careful there. You kind of need to be just on the edge of the um, of the floor, between the edge of the floor and the trap door. And then press circle and then you'll just be on the outer range of the proximity of the C4 explosion. And it will not affect you. But you also would have foot, uh, set foot on the trap door. So you also have to move right really, really, really 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 fast otherwise you'll fall down but yeah that's how you do level five and now we're just on level one but i think you know how to do level one just put a c4 on the wall and they blow it up level two put one between all the pairs so four pairs and then go to the middle and detonate it just careful that you're not too close to the c4 when you press that circle button yeah Probably one thing the game doesn't tell you. Make sure you're safe distance away when you press circle. That's a really good tip. Right here, again, try to get chain reaction. No, almost. If not, just take out the rest with whatever C4F remaining. Of course, we have a little bit less ammo. They still give you way too much for that one. They give you six C4. All the gear, but no idea. They give you way too much ammo there. Okay, so for this one, just same as before, go to the top. Put one here between them two stationary ones. Then wait for the other two to spin into place. Blow them up, and then wait for these two to line up and 
blow them up because there's not really anything else you can do. You are out of choices. It's either blow them up or do not do the mission. So again, put one down as you spawn. You gotta follow my steps very precisely on this one. Come to top of steps. Detonate all these four at once. The reason you do this is because killing them four destroys all the walls along the trapdoor as well. And then this final trap, this final wall. Yeah, like I say, just run to the edge of the floor. Just so you've kind of placed one little footstep on the trapdoor. Press circle, then quickly run back to the floor before you fall to your doom. You'll just keep on falling if you fall down there, by the way. It's a bottomless pit. Right, so next up is Famous. So do the middle and then do the right and then the left or do it in the opposite way. I do the left one last because for some reason the exit appears more to the left. I don't know why but yeah that's why I do the left one last. So be careful of these. Remember when you kill one it might cause a chain reaction so make sure you're not too close. And um, if you want something to compare it to I have died here before. Yeah. And I am not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of it at all. I did die there once. Okay, so here. It's going to do each row one after another. Yep, it seems the further the target is away, the less accurate your shots become. And you might find as well, you might start to lock onto the targets to the right like that. So when there's only one or two targets remaining near the end of the path, you might want to move forward a little bit, guys, before shooting again. And then the exit will appear on the very top right. That's why I did all the paths in order from left to right. So what do we do here? A big question mark. You just shoot all the um, exploding diamonds targets. I don't know why it's a massive question mark for. I mean, it's not really a puzzle. They should, they should have been in one of the puzzle missions. I don't mean the targets, but I mean the, the map layout. Would have worked really well there. It's been wasted. But yeah, come here. Maybe there's a secret there which nobody has found since 1997. And now an exclamation mark, basically telling you there's no secret. Deal with it. So yeah, carefully, just come along. You've got plenty of ammo right now, but when you do the time attack, where you're going to attack the time, you're not going to have a lot of ammo to um, play with, guys. So if you're not very accurate, you might be in a bit of trouble here. So just take your time, pick up your shots. Remember, on time attack, you don't have to be in the top three. All you have to do is be at the time limit. Which is often than not quite generous. Yep, so level five done! Exclamation mark. So time attack next for the famous. Let's go. Right, it's this one. Oh, it's a smiley face. Oh yeah, I didn't notice that before. It's actually a smiley face. So middle, and then the right, and then the left eye, and then enter the exit. This one is a plus icon. So level two plus the next level equals level 3. I think that's a clue it's trying to give you. So yeah, just carefully shoot all these targets. Time attack mode. You don't actually get much time on these first two, do you? 15 seconds. Look at that, 69 bullets remaining. What a good number to have left. Okay, so um, this one. I don't think this is supposed to be resemble any kind of shape at all. Perhaps a graph, actually. Right, so yeah, shoot them all in order. Remember, when you get to the end of one of the longer paths, you might want to just push on forward a bit so your bullets don't miss. And there we go. Top left exit. Uh, sorry. Top right. Got you thinking for a second there. Yeah, next stage, which is level four. Yeah, simple enough, guys. I mean, just shoot all these. You do get quite a lot of ammo on this one. Um, you can try to wait until they're sort of bunched up, I guess, you know, due to the moving targets. 
but because you get so much ammo, I mean, you don't really need to. You've got quite a bit of time as well on this, 45 seconds, so quite a bit to spare. Yeah, when it comes to Metal Gear Solid 2, by the way, obviously I'll be doing the guide for, Metal, for MGS 2 next. Um, it's going to be even more solid platinum than this one. Yeah, I'll be doing that one next. Um, but I might do one of the new extra PS Plus extra games before I get onto that. So, yeah, stay tuned. So you know what to do on this one, guys. Of course, just watch your ammo again. Yeah, three. there's three games on extra which have caught my attention. Um, there's Teardown. There's the... Um, oh, Super Liminal. And... Quite weird name to pronounce. Um, are you doing Chronicles Rising? Yeah, the first words. But yeah, that actually looks quite good. It looks, you know, it's a nice sort of RPG type platformer type game. Kind of with some Metroidvania elements as well. It looks quite good, that does. And I don't think any of them are going to be long patterns. Just, I don't think I've got time to do every one. So i am carefully got to decide which one. Um, yeah, grenade next, guys. So if you're watching this guys and you've got any ideas, let me know, but I'm thinking about covering Teardown, uh, but we'll see. Um, so here guys, you want to lob a grenade down the bottom, just run to the middle of the path near waste spawn, lob a grenade so it lands down the middle, and then run to the path in front to the end, lob one forward, then one to the right, and then one to the left. And wherever you lob the grenade last, run up that path to the north. Do not go where you lob the grenade first, you know, in terms of left or right, because that will probably detonate as you run past it. Now here, as soon as you spawn in, just flick right, so you face right, and lob a grenade. And then run to that, run in front, lob a grenade, and then the one to the south, lob a grenade. And then to the northeast exit. The reason I do the one on the right first, because you don't have to move, you're already in line. And the one to the north, you're sort of in line as well. Now here... You're going to lob the one to the bottom right first. Just go diagonal, uh, sort of go south east uh, from where you spawn. And then lob one on the one to the right. The floating block. And then lob a grenade to the left and a grenade to the top. But obviously the left and top targets, they are moving. So you need to time it so they move into the blast when it explodes. But timing's not too bad. They've got quite a large patrol route. And normally when you lob a grenade, they patrol back into the blast anyway. So here, he's going to lob a grenade over each of the walls to land on the paths. On time attack, you have a limited amount of grenades, so just be careful. Yep, yeah, a lot of that's about your timing. Yep, and we've got more guys, take the north exit. And after level 4, we'll be level 5 guys, so we're going to jump into that one next. Yep, so we lob a grenade at that wall, it will stop the grenade and it will blow up that one. Here, just lob one on that path opposite, destroy that one. And then you see that diamond on the left, once that target gets to the bottom, lob a grenade, then it will come back up and it should make it explode. From here, lob one on that platform up ahead on the right, to detonate that one. And this one down here, wait till it's at the bottom and then lob a grenade like so. And then on its way back up, that should blow it up. And that's it guys. So you've got to repeat that for time attack. Yeah. Yep, another one in the bag. Impressive. Well done, Snake. So time attack up next. So same again. Run to the middle, lob a grenade, run to the top, lob a grenade, lob a grenade to the right, and then to the left. And then wherever you lob the grenade last, guys, take that path to the north. And once the exit spawns, no, it won't damage you if you're inside the spawn when it appears. We should be there ready to quickly finish the mission. Right, so straight away, turn right, lob a grenade. Yep, run up, lob a grenade. And then down, and lob a grenade down as well. And then go to the top right exit. Excellent snake. Level three. So I always go bottom right first. You can go right. I mean, as you saw there, if you lob if you lob one right, just where you spawn, you should be able to make it land on that floating block. Just do the bottom sort of two first, and then do the one on the left and the one on the top. 
level four. Impressive snake. Not so impressive as the last one, but it's not too bad. So it's spawning, just lob a grenade to the left to begin with. And then lob a grenade on the next path. And then on the third path. And then on the fourth path. If it bounces off the wall, just make sure you're not too close to the blast. You might have noticed already, if you lob a grenade when you're running, like I mean it literally has to leave your hand and you have to be running the moment it leaves your hand, it'll go a lot further. But for example, you start to throw it and you're running, but then you stop and it leaves your hand when you stopped, it won't go as far. You have to have lobbed it when you're running for it to go further. So again, lob one at that wall at the bottom, lob one across that path, lob one near that diamond on the left, just as it hits the bottom, then as it comes back up, it should be within range of the blast. Then over to them steps to the right, and then this one over here, Yeah, lob one as he gets to the bottom. Sometimes a blast will hit that one. You know, even if you don't wait for, till it gets to the bottom. But if you want to play it safe, yeah, wait for it to get to the bottom. And then lob a grenade down the steps. And that's a grenade done, guys. So next up is Claymore. Practice level one. It's a shame you can't just jump into time attack. You know that you have to do all the practice ones. Yep, so um, you want to crawl first, guys, to get two Claymore. Crawl first to get the Claymore. You don't have a choice, otherwise they'll kill you. And then place the Claymore down to destroy that target. And that's level one. Cleared. Well done. Now we're only 200 missions left to go. Right, so here. You grab this claim, these two Claymore to the north. Yep, and then just... Put some claymore down to kill these two targets as they come up to you. There you go. Easy. And the target will appear on the top left. Uh, sorry. Top right. Right, so what we're going to do first is grab the four claymore in this sort of left hand square. This is a figure of eight or the infinity symbol. But yeah, grab these four claymores in here. And then once you've done so, by the time you've done that, these two should have grouped up, so you can destroy two at once, and then these two would have grouped up as well. Now come over here, there'll be two grouped up here, so if you're quick enough, and these two here as well. Kill them all with only four targets, guys. And then into the exit. That one's... To do that strategy is quite dependent on timing, obviously, because they start off spaced out, and then they come close together, and then they'll sort of depart you put ways. This one's quite annoying, but you can see where they are on the radar. Just imagine where they're going to be and just put a claymore down. Where you see me put them, sometimes that worked well for me because sometimes I'll get two at once. But yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, if you do need claymores on time attack, you've got some in the top left, top right, bottom left and bottom right corners. Just be careful. If one of your claymores do not get detonated, you don't accidentally walk in its path. I've done that before. You forget that you put them there. Right, level 5. Oh, not this one. This one's really annoying. This spiral. So yeah, they're just all over the place. Just be very, very careful. You do not go over one of your old claymores, which has not been detonated. There are some claymores on the map, which on time attack you might have to get if you run out of ammo. Yeah, but like I say, just be very careful, guys. It's not really a perfect way to do this, I'd say. Because it's all, I mean, it'd be all about speed. And if you're just one sort of moment behind, then the targets will be in a different place. So, yeah, it's just a case of, I mean, they it's not random. They always have the same patrol routes. But, yeah, it's just a case of putting some down where you see them. And uh, just picking off the ones which are remaining. Right, that's practice done. Time for the time attack. It's time to attack the time attack mode. So level one. Again, just pick up the two claymores in front. You don't have a choice here because you have no ammo. Pick up these two claymores and then put them down to destroy the target. That's it. Blow, blow up your unsuspecting victim with a claymore. Don't worry. They're only targets. 
Right, so this one again, take the tooth north claymores. And we're going to use them two claymores to destroy the enemies. There's two targets and now you have two claymores. So try not to miss. Like me. Twice. Yep, yeah, I missed twice. But I didn't miss the third time. Or the fourth time. See, sometimes the third time is a charm. It's true what they say, you know. Yeah, so it's next stage. Yeah, we didn't even get the scoreboard there. Right, so again, grab the um, four claymores. This way will work exactly the same. Grab the four claymores in this part. And then by the time we've done that, them two should have grouped up. And then these two. And then these two will be holding hands as well. And then these two are also holding hands. That's it. Get them all. That's it all done, guys. Level three. And after level three will be level four. So again, this quite annoying one. Yeah, I normally put one there with about that timing. You normally get them two as they come into the corner of the middle. Yeah, you don't have too many claymores, so just be careful. If you do run out of claymores, remember you have some ammo on the top, on each of the outer corners of the map. There we go. And in the exit in the middle. A bit quicker than last time, I think. Almost, well, 1.82 seconds off. Talk about tight. Right, so this annoying spiral. Don't worry, you do not have to do this one ever again after this. Wow, got three at once then. I definitely plan to do that. Yeah, the actual blast on the Claymore, the range on it is quite big actually, you'd be surprised. Very pleasantly surprised you could be. Right. One more. Just thinking where to put them. And got them all. If you need any ammo, there are some claymores in the corner at the end at the end of basically each arm from the spiral. Each branch. Oh, and I got first place. Right guys, so next up is the Nikita. I was gonna make a save first. Nikita is quite a fun way. It's quite a fun weapon to choose, isn't it? Nikita. Maybe it's because we don't really use that often. Yep, so Nikita guys, we're on 36.6%. So level one. Fight. On level one. What is does take some getting used to with this is um, sometimes it looked like you got plenty of space to get through a gap but you weren't just bear that in mind you do almost pretty much have to be like kind of in the middle yeah but you just fly it through a gap and get that target on the right here just fire two missiles to the left get the two targets on the left and then do the same on the right pretty simple Yep, and then take the exit at the top in the middle. So what do you guys think about this Last of Us 2 Remastered? Uh, coming out in January. Yeah, here, just carefully fly the Nikita through here. Yeah, see, quite tricky. You have to make sure you almost always keep to the middle of the path, guys. I mean, you can be to the left and right a little bit, but if you want to make sure it doesn't explode, Try to make sure it's in the middle. I mean, there, it's just to the side. Yep, get a fire target and then take south exit. Yeah, so yeah, Last of Us um, Part 2 remastered, hasn't it? Uh, just been announced, coming out um, January. Anybody excited for that? Yeah, now in between that wall there, guys, it's actually a, a turn. I mean, I know where it is, but you might have to go in first person to see that. Yeah, you go in that hole in the wall, and then there's sort of right or left turn, depending on what side you went in. And then you fly through the middle to the target. Yeah, so here you got to carefully avoid all the cameras, because the cameras, the gun cameras will shoot the rocket. And then um, get the target at the end, guys. 
quite tricky this one because what you'll find a lot not the gun camera so much but you'll keep it in the wall you'll think you're clear of the wall but you're not and you'll hit it and yep yeah, got to do all that again guys in time attack Impressive. with limited ammo yeah um a few i mean a few of you have asked me already um in the comments will i co uh, will i cover last of us part two remastered when it releases yeah likely yes i think i will yeah i think i will probably um I'm quite intrigued to see what the these new game modes are like. No doubt there's going to be trophies for um, completing that new ro that new what roguelike mode, like survival mode type thing, where all random enemies will appear in different locations, and you got to try and survive as much as you can. No doubt going to be a trophy for that, but hopefully you don't have to go too far in the sort of horde. It's basically like a horde mode, isn't it? But they've, but they've not labelled it as such, but it pretty much is a horde mode. Just if like random, the enemies are just placed randomly. But yeah, but yeah, hopefully in the horde mode you won't have to get too high level. Um, they're going to be putting some new levels, aren't they? Just some like bonus level type things. But I wonder if they put like a proper grounded trophy in there. Because there wasn't a grounded trophy last time. Uh, so I wonder if they put a grounded trophy in there this time. The problem is, when, when you can use cheats, I can't help but use them. If you can't use them, I won't. But if I can then I will because you know I don't like to make things harder than myself unless I have to but I don't mind something which is difficult and um, but we'll see maybe I don't know maybe if you can use maybe I'll try and do grounded legitimately because um some people have asked me to if I you know to have done it before on the PS4 version we'll see I don't know we'll see I guess I guess I could do um new game on grounded and then it covers everything then but it's going to be a speedrun mode. But if I if I remember right, the Last of Us Part One remastered, that had a speedrun mode, but there, there was no trophy for it. So yeah, it doesn't ne because there's speedrun mode. That doesn't necessarily mean there'll be a trophy for it. Like I say, there wasn't a speedrun trophy on the Last of Us Part One remastered. So we'll we'll see. But I say it's probably a, a good bet for that new roguelike mode, horde mode, to have a trophy. Right guys, so um, we've done the Nikita, next up is the PSG1, whatever that stands for, pretty strong gun, I don't know. Right, so we're going to run to the foot, run to the front and to the top right, this is where the exit's going to spawn. So here, just go into prone, just equip the pretty strong gun and then shoot three targets and then the exit should point right into your... Um, you know that hole between your legs on the back and you'll warp free so here we're gonna head all the way to the east and from here we're gonna shoot all the targets again this is so that when we destroy them all we're gonna have the exit point and tickle us a little bit from behind and we're gonna destroy all nine targets just from here like so I mean you can get days Pam if you want to but I mean I used it there just because I got it I ran through it but you don't really need to use Days Pam on most of these. There's only a few of the pretty strong gun VR missions that you need the um, Days Pam on. So you've got to take out every single target. Mostly, so, I mean, you've got one on the top. You've got, on each elevation, there's a bunch of targets. And they will slowly warp around the whole of their sort of circle. Yeah, so it's sort of like a circle type shape. Yeah, so if you can't see any, just wait, they're probably behind and they'll come into view on a second. Either via the left or the right side. And there you go, once well, you've got them all, go to the exit. Yeah, so get Day's Pam first on the bottom. Come over here and then go into prone. I'm going to shoot all the targets from here, guys. So these ones you need to shoot in front of them a little bit. Like imagine where they're going to be, anticipate it. And shoot perhaps, I don't know, probably like a quarter of the size of the target. Shoot that far in front. I mean, you can see what I'm doing. Just shoot a little bit in front of them. Pretty much that's all you need to do. Here, because they're moving fast, you can pretty much shoot them dead on. And you should hit them. And that's level four. 
So level five, you're gonna come up to this, go up the first set of steps, grab the um, day's pam, equip your weapon, use the day's pam, and shoot all these guys. There's only four, but try to shoot them all before your day's pam expires. I think you've got about 40 seconds or so. And there we go guys, got them. And then go back down and then rest of the exit. Yeah. Right, so we've got to do the same again, but a time attack. Forty-one point six percent. It's quite a long video, so I might I might do fifty fifty percent today, and then record the other fifty tomorrow, and then upload it. So again, come to the top right, guys. Equip your pretty strong gun, and then shoot all three targets. That's it. Try not to contract, and then the exit will appear. Yeah, don't contract your cheeks there. Just keep them relaxed. Right, and then grab the day's pam. Go into prone here. Again, keep your cheeks relaxed. And then shoot all nine targets. Penetration off the exit arrow will be more comfortable, guys, if you keep relaxed. I know from experience. Right, shoot all these. Nine in total, but they're not moving, so it's fairly easy to hit them all. Well, I'd imagine so. Can't imagine anybody having too much trouble on there. But I have been wrong before. Right, so going to prone. Yeah, the exit's going to appear there. Yep, so 13 targets. Remember, they are they will rotate around the back. Right, level four. So again, guys, grab the day's pam, come over to the east, and shoot all the targets from here. Remember, you need to shoot slightly in front of the, the outer targets. Shoot slightly in front of them, otherwise you'll miss. And the final one, so again, just go up the first set of steps, grab the day's pam, equip your pretty strong gun, and then shoot the four targets, guys. You can use your day's pam as well to steady your aim. Right, what's next? Um, so what comes after PSG1? I think it's, is it Stinger? Is Stinger the last one? Yeah, Stinger guys, then we can move on to the next, the next bunch of missions. I think it's, I forget now. You've got um, sneaker mode, you've got weapon mode, and then is it advanced? I don't know, we'll, we'll see in a second. But yeah, once you spawn in guys for the Stinger, Run, run in any direction to the far end, then turn around and shoot the target above the exit. And then go back into the exit in the middle. Yep, so this one, there'll be a target behind you. Yep, and then target to the left. Just look, if you want to see where I'm aiming, and then target to the right. Look on the radar to see where I'm aiming. And then the target to the top, basically on each direction there'll be a target. Yeah, try not to miss. And then the exit will appear on the right. Yes, yeah, so I always go shoot the bottom, um, the one to the south, then the one to the west, then the one to the east, and then the one to the north. Here, 
they're all at different elevations and depending where you are you might not be able to access some of the targets so where you spawn you're going to try to shoot about 10 targets from where you spawn so yeah 10 targets from where you spawn that's a good number Yeah, so about 10. Okay, I did 11, but about 10. And once you've done 10, come to the bottom here and get this one at the very bottom, guys. Yeah, it will just move into your target vertical. You might, if you're too close to the edge, it might not like it wasn't for me there. There you go. Just make sure you don't accidentally shoot the floor in front of you. Right, once you've got that one at the very bottom, now go to the very top of the steps. That's it, now we're going to shoot the rest. Yeah, you should be able to get all the... As long as you did 10 in the middle, way spawn, one at the bottom, you should be able to gain access to the final 10 at the top of the steps. Well, the final, I guess, 9. Right, so for this one, guys, all the targets are going to be sort of moving around the outside of the massive pillars. Yeah, I normally look ahead first, and if you time it right, you can normally shoot one just before it comes around the corner. You know, if you move your um, your cut, if you sort of lock onto it, then move to the side slightly, fire it, and then move back to keep your lock on active. If you're really good, you can actually hit them without locking on. Yeah, so just keep moving around like I say. You're going, there'd probably be like one or two targets at a time near each pillar. Yeah, it was quite quite slow on that, I guess. Impressive. Right, and then the final, is this the final one? Yeah, so we'll shoot the one straight ahead to the north, then to the west, then to the south, and then quickly to the east, before they all move out of the way. That's it. And then you're going to have some rotating all the way around the structure that which you're, um, which you're inside. So just look around, I think there's four down here as well, just rotating around the structure, the same elevation as you. That's it, four. So straight away, shoot four, and then shoot the four which are rotating around, um, around your elevation, but around the whole map. And you want to look up, and that's where you'll find the final six. You might have to readjust a bit, but yeah, the final six should be above you somewhere. So yeah, eight way standing, same elevation, and the six are above you. Yeah, yeah. practice, uh, sorry, time to attack the time attack mode. Remember, you got reduced ammo now. So don't just spam your rockets. Just reading comments on PSN profiles. Apparently, 
Um, this trophy pops on the VR mission disc now. Not integral, not the integral version. I just mean the separate VR missions, which is um, you've got you've got um, the original Metal Gear Solid one at the top. You've got special missions, then you've got VR missions, and then you've got the integral part. Yeah, the VR missions on there. Apparently, you can pop the trophy on it now. I really want to get onto Metal Gear Solid 2. I really want to get onto that. Um, I know it's going to take me a bit of time to plan. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting into it. I see I see a lot of people asking, you know, in what order should they play the games? I know a lot a lot of people think you should play it in like chronological order, you know. Um, so you understand the story, kind of. Um, but in terms of gameplay, I think it's best to always play them in actual release order. Because otherwise you're going to be swapping from like tank controls back to updated controls, back to tank controls, back to updated, back to tank again. And you're gonna have to you get you're gonna get used to like new features and then go back to less features and then to new ones and to less again. So I always think it's better to play in release order, guys. You know, then you, you slowly you're you're actually gonna get more skilled then slowly and get more used to the to the systems and such. Because otherwise you're doing them in chronological order, you're gonna keep going back and forth in terms of all the game gameplay systems. And I think it might hinder basically your how quick your skill progresses if you know what I mean that's what I always think anyway right so just as we did before guys you do 10 ways spawning you do one at the very bottom and you should be able to get the rest from the top here um, but there is one yeah there he is I don't know how I missed that one it is what it is I missed it deal with it there's not too many there's not too many missions like this where you just have trouble finding targets. Yeah, it's not too many at all. So this one, same as before. Start by facing north and then just shoot them. You'll see them behind, even if you don't see them, if you look at the pillars, you can probably see their target reticle on the pillar. And you can just sort, sort of time it right, shoot them just as they pop out. You know, I wonder what will be on the um, Volume 2. Do you reckon Metal Gear Rising will be on one of them? Because I, really, I don't really feel like playing, you know, most of PSP games. I'm not sure if I mind playing Peace Walk. I've never played it before, but I don't want to play like Metal Gear Acid. You know, ones like that, card games. I just don't know what they're going to do about Phantom Pain. Are they going to release Phantom Pain again on PS5, even though it's on PS4? You know, that's a weird one. Yeah, so final one, guys. Same again. Shoot the one to the north, then to the west, then to the south, then to the east really quick. And then shoot the four spinning around you. And then destroy the final six above you. There we go guys, that's all the, um, no, we've not done the VR missions yet. Well, I think that's going to be what, almost 40% done I think? 
Oh, 46.6. Yep, so next is advanced mode. Yeah, so I'm going to make a save and then let's jump into advanced. So the special ones are quite interesting. But yeah, I guess sneaker mode, weapon and advanced, quite boring. So it's just all doing some things for your weapons. So yeah, advanced mode, sock them. Right, so um, don't get seen here. I think if, if I remember correctly, if you get seen here, you will fail it. So yeah, shoot the guy to the left and then to the right, guys. That's it. Enter the exit. So go left, quickly shoot one, and then quickly shoot the other before they see you. Oh, I guess it don't matter if they see you. Oh, but you can die quite quickly here, though. So be careful. Yeah, you can die pretty quickly. So, I mean, you kind of want to do it um, without getting seen. I guess it depends on your weapon. Right, so you can kill that one on the left, and turn around and kill all the rest as they come for you guys. You should be able to survive. And there it is. As you see, reinforcements don't seem to come. It's only the ones which are on the map which spawn. You have to take the north exit. Right, I'm going to kill him on the left. And then this one here. And then one on the right. If I don't miss. And that's it, guys. Four targets. It will come a bit tricky on time attack when you have less ammo. Right, so I'm going to kill this top one first, top right. And then the next top one which comes running. And then this one which comes running from a sort of bottom somewhere. And there's probably going to be one on the bottom left standing here still. There he is. I think he was asleep. He nodded off on watch. Yeah. Yep, so that's all the sock on. Practi practice mode. Again, we've got to do all time attack. Yes, yeah, so you've got practice and time attack for everyone. But when you get special, guys, there is no time attack on special. So, yeah, no more doing every mission twice on special. You just do a mission once. Right, so time attack. Got Oh, got only 10 bullets. Look at that. Got to be very careful you don't run out, guys. Yeah, fin finish with one bullet remaining. I was not quite prepared for this mission. Right, so again, guys... Watch your ammo, take out enemy on the left, then one on the right, and then the final one to the north. They take three shots, but if you're not accurate, you will miss them. Just same game, go to the guy on the left or the right, and then, um, yeah, guy on the left, I guess he's closest. And then kill the other two as they come for you, and then take the exit. Yep, so you've got a guy on the bottom left, guy on the right, guy on the top, and then one more guy. I think they're all guys, I don't think Meryl's there at all amongst them. Right, one on the top, yep, and then the next one on the top, that's it. Then the guy from the bottom, and the guy on the bottom left, which is probably having a nap again. He nodded off again. Yeah, kill him next. Right, and then go to the middle, guys, into the exit. Punch this guy. Grab a rainbow. Right, and um, next weapon, Famous. Fifty percent. Sorry, C four next. Right, so you don't actually have to use C4, you can strangle them. So we're, gonna, we're just going to choke this guy. Yep, yeah, only equip your C4 guys, otherwise you will not be able to strangle him. And then run up to him from behind. Make sure you are stationary when you press square, otherwise you'll throw him. And just choke him to death. Yes, yeah, same with this guy guys, just choke him. You could bang on the wall there if you want to do it with no damage. Yeah, just choke him. No need to put C4 down. I was just I was just playing with him, you know. The thing is, you have to run all the way back. That's why it um, can be a little bit more efficient to put C4 down. Because he follows you and he runs into it and then you blow him. You blow him up. So here, 
put C4 down on there. You can wait for the enemies to sort of pair up if you want to. So you destroy, you kill more than one at a time. There's only two enemies there, quite easy. And then take the top exit. So put him to the bottom, try to kill him, and then all the rest should come at you from the north. And put C4 down, then try to lure all of them into it at once, and then detonate it, guys. If something don't quite die, and you've got a chance, put C4 down next to him again to finish him off. And the exit will appear just north of the trapdoor. Right, so for this one, you're going to put a C4 on all of their backs. So top enemy first. Enemy on the left, uh, sorry, enemy on the right. Wait a moment and then go to the enemy on the left. Yeah, wait for them to turn back. Because they will keep turning back and then looking ahead again. And then enemy on the bottom. Yes, yeah, so it's top right. Wait a moment. Enemy on the left, enemy on the bottom. And then detonate it. It doesn't have to be on their backs. Just as long as it's like really close to them. So that the blast, so they're near the epicenter of the blast. So take more damage. And that's all the C4 missions on practice. Time attack next. So just exactly the same again. We're just going to choke them first few enemies just because it's a little bit quicker. Then putting C4 on the floor and pressing detonate. Okay, or just lob him. I should have put C4 down and then threw him into the C4. Right, so that's level 1 done guys. Time attack on C4. So yeah, you can put C4 down, kill this guy, lure him into it, or just go and choke him to death. I guess I'll choke him. You are as good as they say, guys. I do firmly believe that. Right, so go to guard on the right, get their attention, put C4 down, and then wait till they both go into it and press that button. Right, take the north exit next. Now go to the bottom, kill this first guy for C4. You'll trigger the rest, come up here, and they should all come to the north. If not, just try to put a C4 down along the path you're going and then lure them into it and then try to kill them all at once like that. If not, just put another, another C4 down and bait them again. Right, so same order. Top guy, guy on the right, guy on the left, but wait a moment because guy on the left is going to be facing you. Wait for him to turn back. Then put one between his cheeks and then put one behind that guy and then detonate them. If you put one between his cheeks, he'll sort of one part of him will go the other way and the other part will go the other way when you press detonate. Right, and there we go, level five completed. But cheeks went everywhere then. Yeah, famous next and level one. You got so much ammo on practice, but yeah, either killing from the front or shooting from behind. I do not know what I'm doing there. I didn't. I, I don't think I realised I had my weapon unequipped, or I might have gone to run and pressed the buttons incorrectly, because I'm a bit of a knob and I do that sometimes. Right, so kill these three next in, I guess whatever order you wish, because the famous is really good at killing things. Yeah, just go to, go to to the left, to the top, or to the bottom, or to the left, to the bottom, to the top. Or to the bottom, to the top, to the left, whatever order. Because the exit will appear in the middle, so I guess it doesn't really matter too, too much where you go first. So, kill the one on the left, the others will probably come running. And then just kill them all as they come around the corners. And if there's any you don't kill, which sort of try to hold their ground, just approach them, but try to make sure you're far away so you're not too close that they open fire. And you can shoot them without taking any damage yourself. 
So for this one, this trapdoor, so be very careful. You want to kill him before you go over the trapdoor, because otherwise it's a bit tricky. And you're going to kill all these as you run across the trapdoor. Yeah, you've got to be careful. If you want, you can try and shoot them before you go across the, uh, across the trapdoor, so if you want to play it safe, guys. Right, so yeah, you might get spotted by cameras, gun cameras, it doesn't matter, just try to move forward quick enough so they don't get to do too much damage. Kill all the enemies and then kill these two at the top. You can kill them from the stairs, you will sort of lock onto them up above. And there you go guys, practice mode, so up next, same again, but now time attack. Again. Yeah, impressive snake. Sorry, I was looking down at my phone. I think most of us now spend more time looking down than forwards. Right, so uh, kill M3. Go in whatever direction you want. Left, top, down if you want. Right, it's level 2 cleared. Uh, level 3 next. Yeah, I'll, I'll do these advanced ones, guys, and then I'll do a special, I'll do a special tomorrow. And then I'll upload the video tomorrow. Which would be, mean absolutely nothing to you, so I don't know why I'm telling you that. So yeah, kill what guards you can, and these two stay where they are for some reason. And they take a north exit. Yeah, when it comes to these weapon modes, there's always there will always be eight. There's eight different weapons. Um, top of my head, you've got Sockham, C4, Famas, Claymore, pretty strong gun, uh, Stinger, and Nikita. I think that's all of them. Yeah, it's the same as before, guys. That first guy, kill him before you go across the trapdoor. And then kill all the rest as you're running. You don't have to keep running. You can stop if you want before the trapdoors. And kill the enemies just past it. You might find that a bit safer. Yep, yeah, so if you're going to run into this uh, field of view of the cameras, guys, just make sure you are running forward. So you get out of their fire as soon as you can. And then these two at the end, just go halfway up steps and you should lock onto them. I did almost lose all my health, so just be very careful. Yep, yeah, Famiston. So up next. It's a surprise. Yep, yeah, looks like I try to replay the same mission again. My bad. Yep, yeah, go into grenade. Oh yeah, grenade next. That's one I forgot. Oh, we got a chaff grenade. I'm surprised they there's not chaff grenade because chaff grenades are missing, isn't it? And stun grenades. Surprised. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, just lob a grenade from that top platform. For some somehow I completely missed him. But as you can see, you don't actually have to lob the grenade. You can just go and choke him to death. So it's up to you. I've grenade him. Make sure it lands between his legs or choke him. Right here, you got to make the grenade land down the hole. If you're lucky, you can get it to land inside by running and then kind of flicking the controller to the right. But if not, just go to the top and the face south and then lob it. And that should land down the hole, guys. Right, level three next. This one's a bit wonky at times. So I normally come down here first, lob a few grenades on each of the southern paths, so southern corridors. So lob a few on one side, a few on the other. That would have got most of the enemies, but there might be one on the top corridors. As you can see that guy there. Yeah, didn't kill him. Oh, there he is on the right. There we go. I've got him now, I think. But yeah, that one's, like I said, it's a little bit wonky because, I mean, sometimes you can't see where they are. Well, yeah, I always just lob a few down the bottom corridors first. And then wherever the last one is, if there is, um, just go and chase him. Now, if you do this same as me, this bit can be, this one can be quite annoying. But if you do it same as me, it can be very easy. It might just take a bit of practice. So the way to do that is, I mean, you've probably seen the enemy. So you sort of walk around and then they go to the middle and then walk around and then to the middle again. If you time it right, 
you, you wait till about to walk to the middle. So when they just turn around the corner, and um, then you have to sort of throw it when you're running, and that will land in the middle of them. And here, I always lob about three or four, or f well, I guess maybe five, down the middle. Just way spawn in, just way spawn in, lob a fight about five down the middle. And that will kill them three at the bottom, and they can kill at least two to the north with chokes. Works pretty well for this one. I'll explain that with one guys level four when we come back to it in a second on time attack. Uh, but yeah, level five. Like I say, just lob a few grenades in front of you, about five. That should kill a three down the bottom and then go to north and kill the northern two with chokes. So time attack. So this guy, remember, you can choke him if you want or just run up the steps and lob a grenade at him. Try not to lob it too far. I think I'd lob it too far again. Oh, never mind. I just choke him. I guess at least it turned his back to me. Right, it's level one done. Right, so same again. Tried, I was so close there to getting it down the hole. If not, just like I say, just do what I did. Go to the north side, turn south and lob it. And that should drop on his head. And then when he, locks, when he looks up to see what hit him on the head, the grenade will be at his feet and it will explode. So again, just lob a few down in each passage. I just go with two. You've got limited ammo, remember, because you're on time attack. So lob two on each corridor at the bottom. And I guess lob two in that top left corridor. Just be careful because you could potentially run out of grenades here. Oh, it's lucky just had just enough grenades. But yeah, you've got eight grenades there, so you've got to be careful. Right, level four. Yeah, so um, i just explain this one again. So it's all about timing. Um, look out where look where they're walking. So when they when that one walks to the corner and then faces east, I run to the middle, and then once I get to the middle of them, I I start to, what I do. I start to throw a grenade, so I release it as I'm running. So you have to pr actually press a button to throw it before you start to turn, because of the time it takes to throw it from when you press a button. You just got to get timing right. So you, you press a button, throw it. Then you run right, then you turn left, and then you'll release it as you're still kind of running. And that makes it go further and land in the middle. Like I say, it's a bit tricky, um, but once you've done it once or twice, it gets a lot easier. And it makes that part a lot easier, because otherwise, it would just be a pain in the ass trying to hit the enemies with limited grenades. So again, just lob a few grenades in the middle, guys, on this one when you spawn in uh, to the north. And then come and kill these two to the north with chokes. And that's the grenades done. Impressive, guys. Impressive. You're as good as I say. Right, claim more next. I'm just going to make a save. We are on 60%. I think by the time you've done all the um, advanced missions, probably... What have we got left? We've got four left. Probably going to be on about 63.6% or 63.3%. Uh, sorry, I mean 73.3%. Right, so this one, guys. We've got to use Claymore. So um, we're going to... Crawl through these first two claymores to pick him up. And we're going to put a claymore down in front of this guy. Or just choke him to death. You had to pick up the first two claymores because they were blocking your path. You had no choice. Yeah, well, unless you can try and skip over them. But I don't think that will quite work. Right, so pick up this first claymore because it's blocking your path. And I'm going to choke these two guys. You don't have to. I mean, you can use claymore if you want to. But I'm going to choke him. And yet my choke failed on him to begin with. He heard something. Right, and then take the exit, guys. So yep, you can use Claymore, you can choke him to death. But when there's only a few of the enemies, choking them works. But when there's too many, it will not work because you'll just get shot to death. So just be careful. Right, so I'm going to put Claymore on that one down. He's going to trigger all the rest. And then we're going to put Claymore down and just force all them to run into each other. And run into the Claymores. Like so. Yeah, so you... you try, just try not to run into it yourself. Yeah, so you kill, you kill the first one, guys. You kill him, but you also aggro the rest. And then just kill all the rest as they come into you. And do not copy me on that last bit. Do not damage yourself. 
It's not very advisable. Yeah, so grab this Claymore straight in front of you. Get their attention. Put Claymore behind you. And they should all run into it. I don't know how the guy closest survived. But whatever. Right, I'm going to choke him. Yep, she's the last one. So yeah, kill the first three with Claymore. And the final one, which doesn't go anywhere. Just choke him. Right, so be careful here. There's Claymore stand, but you have no mind detector. So you want to get his attention first. So bang on the wall. When he comes around the corner, strangle him. I'm trying to strangle him. It's not working. There we go. Right, once you get past the wall, start crawling and stick to the right. Like I say, there are Claymores here. So just be very careful. Yep. If he's looking east, do not look too far. You do not want him you do not want him to be aggroed when you're crawling. And there'll be one claymore there it is, just near the corner. That'll be your last one, and they can sprint over to him guys and choke him. So yeah, just make sure you check my map to see where that last one is. Because then you know you can stand up. And then turn the north exit, guys. That is Claymore completed. Impressive. Impressive, guys. Well done, guys, you did it. Right, so next up. Yeah, I said I said Nikita then like a complete donut, so I had to cut it out. Yeah, it's actually Claymore because you've got time attack. I forgot about its time attack. Yeah, so just same again, guys. Grab a Claymore in front of you and then choke the guy at the end. And then may he rest in peace. Right, so grab a claymore in front of you guys and then go and choke the final two and go through the exit. Right, so here, put Claymore down to kill that far left guy, top left, and then kill all the rest as they come for you guys. Claymore, so remember you got reduced ammo. Yeah, so grab our first claymore, and we're going to aggro these first three enemies. Then going to try and kill them all at once. Let's see if the guy closest to the blast. Oh, we oh we took the most damage that time. It actually worked as intended for once. Right, once you kill the first three, just go and choke the final guy. I don't know who he's talking to when he's like, there he is. But all his mates are dead. I guess he probably he didn't get the memo. Right, so this one, knock on the wall to get his attention, then strangle him to death. Right, then crawl to the top. Remember, make sure you do not crawl into the guy's field of vision if he's looking east. If so, wait for him to turn back and carry on forward, guys, and um, go and kill him. Just remember, there's one more claymore just in this corner. There it is. Copy me what I say, didn't they? Yeah. Snake agrees. Snake. Right, so Nikita next, guys. Three weapons left. Nikita, pretty strong gun, and the stinger. The pretty strong gun really stings. Right, so, um, yep, yeah, it's going to fire to any diagonal, either northwest or northeast, and then turn it. So it goes inside and kills that guard who thinks he is in cover. So for this one, just shoot it all the way to the end. There's two guards. That's it. Shoot one, kill one of them. 
and then kill the other when he goes to find out what happened. Because for some reason, he failed to see the blast. That's it, once got them both guys, take the exit. I know this one looks like a right maze, but don't worry, we can skip it. So go on the third or fourth step. Third or fourth step. And the final Nikita, send it all the way around the outside of the map. And you find the guy at the end. And you're going to kill him. That's it. Like, wait, wait to look cheat that a little bit. Yeah, I don't know how we got there. But that's how we um, took him out of there, I guess. So this one, go up the first, um, the first set of steps. Because this is where the exit is going to spawn. Right, fire rocket up the steps. All the way to the top until the steps disappear. That's it. This is just to get height. Then you want to go left and then down about here. Use first person if you need to. Go into this set of steps. Right. And then you want to go back to the north. Now you've got the height. And go on this north and set. Now you want to come off about three steps from three or four steps from the top. About so. And you can reach the enemy. That's it. I think that's that saves you going up a, a set of steps pretty much. That's it. You knock him off. That's level 4 then. And now this one you see all the enemies above you. So what you got to do, you got to use steps ahead to get your height on your rocket and send it across to him. If you're lucky or if you're just good, you can probably kill them all in one rocket. I think I'd, I think I'd do it on my time attack. But it's, it's a bit tricky because you have to hit them exactly right. It's, you know, right in the middle. I mean, look, three of them didn't die there. So if any of them don't die, just send another rocket. You need to be quick going up the steps. Make sure you're you, make sure when you're going up the steps, guys, you're going fast, because otherwise the gun cameras will shoot the rocket out of the sky. Right, let's get the final ones. There we go, got them all, guys. That's it. That's level five done. So next up is time attack with the Nikita. Sixty-five percent. So yeah, you got reduced ammo now. You got three rockets to do this. Plenty, plenty. You should only need one. Right, once you killed him, into the exit. Excellent, Excellent guys. I know the game's already told you, but you did really well on that one. Right, so go through any of the windows. Send it all the way to the top, get the first guy, and then kill the second guy when he goes to investigate. Hey, where'd he go? He doesn't know where his mate went. Yep, and then take the exit. Hey, where'd he go? <laughs> you can imagine the carny. Right, so again, we're just going to skip this little maze. I know, can you imagine going through that maze? That'd be a right nightmare. Yep, so go down the third or fourth step. And again, shoot your rocket, go around the outside of the map. And kill the unsuspecting guard. Oh, he's sleeping. Well, he's a guard, he's going to die. That's it, level 3 done, guys. Level 4 is next. I guess at least he died peacefully. He didn't see it coming. Yeah, so again, got the first set of steps. And then shoot a rocket to it gets to the top. And then go to the left. Yep, climb this set. Once you climb that, turn around. Yeah, make sure you do go to the top. Yeah, turn around and go to the north and then climb this north and set. Remember, come off about three or four steps from the top. That's it. And then fly on the enemy. And you killed him. And that's level four cleared. Impressive. Right, next stage, Snake. Oh, so this one. Yeah, I think I got lucky. I killed them all at once. This is kind of like elevated bowling, but with a rocket. Yeah, can you knock all pins down at once? We'll see. Yeah, I think I did it here. I got a strike. Oh, yeah, I got a strike. Look at that one, guys. I win. Getting a strike on that one should be an automatic trophy pop for doing all VR missions. 
but yeah, that's the nicotigan done, guys. Uh, oh, my mistake. I clicked back on it by accident. Don't worry, I'll cancel back off. Right, so a um, pretty strong gun is next. Yep, so practice. Like I say, the special ones are, are quite fun, the special ones. Like I say, it's somewhat special, it's different. Yeah, so kill that guy to far north to begin with. That's it, just one guard. And then once you killed him, start running to the north because the exit appears along this bridge. Right, level two. Just go to the scalp in front of you, go prone, and kill the three guards. You've got plenty of ammo, you can just spam it. Now you might see there'll be a guy sleeping behind it. Can you see the Zeds coming from behind? Uh, to get the guard's attention which are sleeping, you just shoot the wall next to them. So you see this guy sleeping. Oh, I'd have really shot the wall. Basically, he's, he's investigating the wall because I missed earlier. Alright, level three. Go to the gap in the wall. Look north. Well, so look northwest to begin with, yeah, northwest, and try to get that guy just as he goes down the steps, just as he goes down the steps, yeah, northwest, and then the next two kind of to the north. Look on my radar, guys, to see where I'm looking. Yeah, that guy we killed first. If you don't kill him, then he sort of he comes, he tries to come down to where you are. There's like a path to the west. He'll come all the way down to where you are. That's why. He, Straight away, go to Gap, look northwest, and try to be ready to shoot him as he comes down the steps. And then the other two will always be patrolling to the north. Right here, guys, I will shoot the guy to the southwest to begin with. This guy here. Yeah, look at my radar. And then the guy to the west. Yeah, just behind there. Right, and then the guy to the northwest. Remember, if you want to get their attention, you can shoot the wall. Yeah, northwest. So that's so basically three on each side, and then come to here, about here, guys, and then kill a the guy to the northeast. If your timing is right, exactly the same as mine, they'll be in a similar place. If not, they might be somewhere different on their patrol route. Yeah, that guy to the east, you might have to shoot the wall to make him come out, and then the guy to the southeast, and that's it, guys. All six. Yeah, like I say, if they're not in the same place for you as they are for me, it's probably because you took a bit longer. Or, yeah. Or because you may be playing special missions, which runs a little bit slower. Um, but if you want to see where they are, they normally just patrol around that area. Just go into first person mode and you can see where they are a lot easier. Right, so here, there'll be three on the bottom and three on the top. You probably saw to begin with, I wait for that first guy to spawn near the window. And then kill the two in the bottom right window. And come to this top window, guys, and you should be able to kill the final three there. There's one guy at the very top, but as you can see there, you can just see his shoes and you can just shoot him in his feet to kill him. And that's level 5 done. So you've got to do that again, guys, on time attack. So you've got 5 bullets. Try not to miss. Yep, then get in the exit. Yeah, go to the gap ahead and shoot the all the guards. So there's one there. There's one probably climbing on the top, and there's that guy sleeping around the back. Oh, it looks like I oh know. It was sleep. See, shoot the wall, guys, and he'll go to investigate. Or he's going to investigate his friend. But it's a bit late. He's despawned. He won't find anything. Yes, I know. Right, so again, quickly go to the gap, guys. Look northwest and shoot that guy as he goes down the steps. Like I say, if you don't kill this one, he's going to go down the west path and he's going to come over to your location. And he's going to try and get in the exit before you. You do not want that. And then the final two will be to the north. If you're having trouble finding them, just temporarily they're going to first person so you can just get a better view. Yep, 
Right, level, is this level four? Yeah, so first of all, southwest, kill a guy to the southwest, look at my radar, kill him. And then there'll be a guy to the west. You can just let go and um, re equip the guys if you want to be quicker. Yeah, so guy to the west up here. I shot the wall there to try and get his attention. Got plenty of bullets. Yes, yeah, so that's guy to the west, and then the guy to the north, uh, sorry, northwest. Yeah, there he is. Going for a walk. Nice night for a walk. Yep, and then come to the top left, kind of over here. And then look northeast, kill that guy patrolling the corner. And then look east, that big guy beyond that wall. You might want to shoot the wall to get his attention, so you might be sleeping. Right, and then the guy to the southeast, and then that's it, guys. I think I shot him in his legs then, but blood came out of his head. Do you see that? I think the bullet, the bullet must have sort of ricocheted off all his bones and come out of his head. Right, so um, level five. So you've got three guides at the bottom, three at the top. The first guide, this first window, wait a moment, shoot the glass first, then wait for him to patrol into view. And then the other two, you can see the other window, this one here. Yep, and then go up to the room above. Yep, this window here. Shoot that guy, probably see just in the corner. And then the other guy should come. There's his legs. Shoot him in his feet. And then shoot the other guy. And that's it, guys. Level 5 done. So next up is the Stinger Missile. And then on to Special Mode. Like I say, no time attacks on Special. you just got one level of each. And that is it. The, there is a VR mission. I know what you're thinking. We are on VR missions now. What am I talking about? No, it's actually, there's a VR mission called a VR mission. It's like the ultimate one. Um, here, guys, use your singer, and, yeah, just shoot him. Yeah, but what it is, it's like one big mission where it's like, I think it's eight levels all combined into one, and if you die, you have to go, well, if you don't do it in time, I mean, you can die and just repart, uh, restart that stage, but if you don't do it in time, you have to go all the way back to the start again to stage one. Yeah, so here, shoot that wall, to get his attention, then when he comes to investigate into the opening, shoot him to kill him. That way, you don't have to go up the steps. Yep, so this one, guys, shoot the wall, in, uh, sorry, shoot the floor next to you, not too close, you don't want to be damaging yourself. That'll get their attention. Now just wait for them to come to you. There's only two guys. Yep, and then just shoot them. And they go in the exit. Right, level four. Yeah, shoot the steps in front of you to get their attention. Right, and once all of them come to you guys, just shoot them. The next one actually, special mode, there's some there's some uh, VR missions called One Minute, and each one takes literally a minute, and there's like quite a lot of them. That takes quite a bit of time. Yeah, so, I mean, try and do your best. But yeah, shoot the steps, that'll alert them. And then they will all come to you. You can just kind of kill them in clusters. Works quite well. Right, it's level five. Come to the top here. This one's kind of about, I mean, most of them about timing. But this one, a bit more important than most of the others. So eventually, they're all going to patrol to the middle again. Try to time it so your rocket hits them when they all spawn in the middle. And now, go for it. Yeah, if you're lucky, you'll kill them all at once. If you're really lucky, you'll knock them all down the holes. But yeah, any left standing, just shoot another rocket before they get a chance to chase you. And that's it, guys, level five. So it's got to do it all, all again in time attack modes. Yeah, 71.6%. Right, so you're going to shoot him with your stinger. Make it easy. There's no way he's going to survive this. If the blast don't kill him, the falling off will. Right, next stage. Right, so you're going to shoot the wall there, get his attention. When he comes to check it out, blow him to smithereens. Right, next stage. Whoa, it's last level. Yeah, it says, it says next stage there, but it's actually called level, but stage. And on VR missions, they call them stages because um, you have to do it all at once. Yeah, so shoot the floor next to you. Not too close, don't want to damage yourself. Wait for the enemies to come for you. And then shoot them. 
Yeah, I messed up there. Shot it too early. And I messed up again. Try not to waste all your ammo. Top tip. Right, level 3 cleared. Right, so shoot the steps, get their attention. And then kill them all as they come for you to check it out. Light moths to the flame. Oh, an explosion. Let's go check it out. Come on, everybody. And no, one of them had a bit of sense. Look at that guy keeping back. He's the only one with a bit of sense. Or maybe he's the boss. Go and find out what that was. I'll wait here. <laughs> you know, type thing. But yeah, shoot him next. And that should be all of them. Take the exit. One more left, guys. And then special mode, the last batch of VR missions. Right, it's so known this one quite easy. Get on the top ready and wait for them to walk back to the centre. And then fire a missile right into the centre. Yeah, just into the middle, guys. I don't know why they'll go to the middle. What is it? Someone called a town meeting or something? Or group hug? I don't know what's going on. Come on, guys. Come here. Come close and sniff this, will you? Oh, look, I lobbed one of them down the hole. That's it, guys. So that's Stinger done. The final batch. Special mode. Where things get a little bit more interesting. But they get quite a bit longer as well. I mean, most, most missions so far have gone through them really quick. But these ones can be a bit longer. So yeah, make sure you save your game. We'll do special mode, one minute battle, and versus target, and no weapon to begin with. Each of these will take one minute. Um, and you have to destroy a certain amount of targets. So for this one, um, I think you have to... Yeah, it's in my text guide. I'll just read it out to you. Yeah, problem on the um, integral disc. You don't know exactly... You can't read the Japanese writing. So you can't really read the description. But yeah, this one, you only have to kill 10 targets. I see you don't have to kill no more. But you have to wait for the timer to finish, unfortunately. So 10 to finish it anymore if you want to enter the scoreboard but 10 minimum and what I'm going to do here guys and for any other missions where I'm just standing still for like a minute or so um, I'm just going to cut, make a cut and transition just from where I started standing still and to where we finish the mission guys just so because if I don't do that it's going to be like 10 or 20 minutes of me just standing still you're doing literally nothing but yeah this will be the first one which we'll let this one play out so like I say just do the min minimum score required, and they can just wait for the time to run out. So, yep, yeah, that's the first one, guys. No weapon. Just beat them all up. And the second one will be Sockham. For this one, you just want to destroy 15 plus targets. And then, once the time expires, you'll finish it. So, yep, yeah, 15 plus targets, guys. I'll get the 15, and then I'll make a transition. At this rate, I probably won't even get them done in time. You don't have to do time attack on this, but you will have to do like a, a versus enemy type. So it'll be one minute versus targets and one minute versus enemies. Oh, there we go. Two more. That's it. 15. That's all you need. Yep, so that's that one done, guys. One minute battle versus targets using Sockham. Next up will be C4. So for this one, you need to do 25 targets. Yeah, 25. Just careful you don't kill yourself. I mean, you've got plenty of HP. They will respawn, so don't worry about them not respawning. They will eventually, after a second or two. Yeah, you might want to put a few down near the top and then sort of hide down the bottom. Uh, wait for an opening and then detonate them to get more at once. That's 15, 10 more to go. Yeah, some of these, some of these are very quick and um, some of them take a little bit longer. I mean, like that very first one, that's very quick to do. There's one of these which takes literally just standing still for five minutes to finish the mission. But yeah, I've got more than enough, 32. I'll let this video, this part finish. So we're near the end anyway. So yeah, next up will be Famous. Famous need to destroy 30 targets. 
And again, just wait then for the timer to run out. Yeah, you might want to like, because when you're running with a Famous, it, it can be a bit tricky to hit the targets. As you can see me doing, I've only hit five so far. You might just want to move forward, stop, shoot. Move forward, shot, um, stop, shoot. And just do it like that. If you have a trouble winning and shooting like me. Yeah, just like all the other levels, they will respawn eventually. But yeah, 30 targets, that's all you need. And you can just wait for the timer to finish. There we go, that's 30. Last 10 seconds, may as well wait. Yeah, so next one will be grenades. You need 65 on grenades, but it goes pretty fast. Yeah, grenades goes really fast. You can just spam them. And all the targets will just cause a chain reaction. Yeah, it's not too bad. Especially if you get a massive chain reaction like that. Yeah, 6 fives all you need. There's 57. A few more. Right, and I think I can skip ahead a little bit now. No, still not. I missed them all then. Okay, that's 65 guys. Make a quick cut to the end. I guess eventually these cuts will probably remove about 10 minutes or so from video, so make it a little bit shorter. Yeah, next up is Claymores. So Claymores, you need to destroy 20 targets or more. So 20 or more, guys. Just careful, you don't run into your own Claymore. You might see me do that, on that once or twice here. Yeah, 20 is all you need. That's 19. One more. There we go. And I'll make a cut, guys. So I'm just going to stand still now and have a cigarette. Yep, that's Claymores. Next up will be Nikita. Nikita, um, you need to destroy 35 or more targets. This one can be a little bit tricky. You'll see me. I just make it. What you want to try and do is you see the target which is moving, I mean they're all spinning around, but the one which is sort of moving amongst all the rest, that's when you want to try and hit, because normally hitting that one can cause a chain reaction if you hit it when it's in the middle of a bunch of targets. So yeah, try to hit the one which is moving around the floor, not the ones which are going down the holes. Yeah, like so, because normally when you hit that one, when it stops in the middle, between a bunch, yeah, you normally destroy a good two, three, or four at a time. Yeah, 30, 35 targets. Wow, 10 seconds left. I'm only on 31. Just in time. Yeah, this is perhaps one of the hardest ones. Um, st I guess it's still quite easy. If you're not bad like me. But yeah, it's probably one of the hardest ones. So next up, guys, is a pretty strong gun. We've got to destroy 10 targets. Yeah, this one ain't this one ain't too bad. Only 10. So you, just from where you spawn, just go into prone and face to the north. Yep, and shoot 10 targets. Get Daze Pam if you want, but you shouldn't need it. When you sway, you normally only sway for a moment and then you steady yourself for a moment and then you sway again and steady yourself and sway again. So even without Dave's Pam, you will become still 
at times. So yeah, that's 10 guys. Going to make a quick cut to the end. Yeah, that, that one's very quick to do. Only 10 targets. Right, and last one of the versus target of the one minute battle will be Stinger. For the Stinger one, you need to destroy 20 plus targets. I forget exactly what this one is like. Oh yeah, that just keeps spawning. Yeah, so 20 plus targets, guys. Yeah, just be careful because sometimes they will come really close to you and you might take a bit of damage if they do. You know, if you explode one and it's like right beside you. But yeah, 20 plus targets, guys, and then I'll make a cut uh, to the end of the mission. There we go, 20. Yep, next up will be versus enemy. So it's still one minute battle, but we're now fighting enemies. So for the first one, all you got to do is kill. You just got to kill four enemies, guys. Um, so if you're quick, you can just lob all these off the edge. Yeah, remember, you always throw them behind your back. So if you want to throw them off the edge, or you can just punch them off like so. Do a combo and knock them off. Uh, but it will respawn. So once you've done all four. Unless you just want to keep fighting them. Yeah, just, just get away. And once the alert status has gone. They should stop chasing you. And then you can just wait. Yep, so just getting to cover guys like so. Wait for it to wear off. Yep, and I just cut to the end. Like I say, you only need four on this one. Just kill four enemies. Yep, there's that one done. So next one will be the Sockum. Kill 15 enemies with the Sockum. Yes, yeah, so a 15. They will respawn. So yeah, if you just let one see yeah, and then all the rest will come rushing towards you. To find out what's going on. Good thing about this is you do have a massive chunk of health. You, I think your health is at like maximum you can get. Yeah, so 15 guys. And it was got 15. You could pretty much just um wait, hide somewhere. Yep, so there we go. 15. Just hide somewhere now and keep killing the rest. I'll cut to the end. We've got 15 what we need. I've got a few more because they kept chasing my tail. But yeah, all you need is 15. That's Sockham, one minute battle versus enemies. Next up is C4. For this one you need to kill 10 enemies. So once you trigger the alarm, they'll just keep running into you. Yeah, that'll get like four or five out of the way. Yeah, so they'll just keep running into you guys. Yeah, just keep putting one down. Just like clockwork, they'll keep running into it. Yeah, so 20 enemies on there. Sorry, 10 enemies. Did I say 20 before? Yeah, 10 enemies on this one. That's it. Once you kill 10, you can just hide and wait now, guys, until the, mi until the mission ends. There we go. So next one will be Famous. Famous, you need to destroy 20 enemies. 20 minimum. What's our percentage? 77.3%. Yeah, so you can pretty much just kind of stand up here. And just wait for them to keep coming towards you around the corner. you got plenty of ammo with the Famous. So this should be not be no problem at all to kill 20 enemies. Yep, and there we go guys, pretty simple. Right, so I'm just going to cut ahead a little bit. We've got 20 what we need. Yeah, we've got a few more kills because they just kept running into my... They kept running into my bullets. 
So yeah, I've got a few more than 20. But yeah. Next up will be grenades. Grenades, all you have to kill is a massive amount. It's actually three enemies. Yeah, you actually have to kill three enemies on this one. Quite a lot. So yeah, if you alert one, the rest should probably go to investigate. And then you can just love one, one more grenade. And get the others that you need. Yeah, three enemies, guys. That's all you need. There you go. They can just hide for the rest of the time for now. Yep, they found me. So I'm basically playing cat and mouse for the remainder of that VR mission. But yeah, next up is Claymores. Claymores needs to kill five enemies. Yeah, again, quite a small amount. Yeah, five enemies. Once you trigger them all, they'll just all come running into your claymores. There you go. That's probably it. Yep, so there we go. Five enemies, guys. An another little cut again. Right, then we've got Nikita. For Nik Nikita, you need to kill ten enemies. I guess at least with this one, they can't actually reach you. Yeah, but they will try to shoot you, so just try to make sure you're uncover when you find your rocket. Yeah, 10 enemies, guys, that's all you need. And then we'll start running into where the last missile exploded. Making it quite a bit easier. There we go. Ten enemies. Yeah, next up is the PSG-1. All you need to kill this is five enemies. So, two more than on the grenades. Yeah, five enemies. So, just go prone where you are. No need to get dazed, Pam. That's it. Kill one. Kill the second. Kill their mate, which comes to investigate. Kill the fourth one, and then kill the fifth one. Probably a captain coming last. There you go. Captain Cheeks, he's dead. That's it, guys. Five enemies are down. Then just wait for the timer to run out. And the final one minute battle is Stinger. Stinger, you need to kill ten enemies. Uh, what we've got left? We've got versus twelve battles left. We've got mystery. Um, puzzle, Variety, VR Mission, uh, Ninja, and New Game Selection. Not not too many um, categories left. Well, that's a few to keep you busy. That's enough to keep you busy, you know. Yep, so um, 20 enemies. Uh, sorry, 10 enemies. Yep, this weapon really stings when it hits them. So it should kill them pretty quick as long as you hit them on target. Yeah, careful because they might start running towards you. That guy at the top sending in all this cannon fodder. Look at him. And that's it guys. Ten enemies. That's all you need to kill. Right. And next up is a versus 12 battle. So exactly what it says on the tin. You're going to be fighting 12 enemies. Yeah, there's eight of these all together. Eight different levels. No time attack, just eight levels. And that's it. So first of all, yeah, I'm going to kill the one to the northwest and the one to the northeast. W what you'll find with this is um, there's always four enemies present at a time, right? And um, uh, each where each enemy is, when you've killed one, two others, well, yeah, two others will replace it. So you always get four enemies, but three will spawn in each spawn spot. So look at spawn spot A, for example. You'll kill the enemy in spawn spot A, and then another enemy will replace him once you've killed him. Then you'll kill him, and then another enemy will replace him. And then once you kill the three enemies, that's which spawn in spawn spot A, one after another, no more will spawn in that spot. 
So that comes in quite useful on some of these missions. Because your your ammo, your weapons which you get, it changes. It's not like you've always got the same weapon. You have a specific set of weapons and a certain amount of ammo. And sometimes they can be tricky. Um, but if you focus on three spawn spots and get rid of all the enemies on three of them. So that means there's only one spawn spot remaining. And that still means there's three enemies left. But that means that final spawn spot, there's always going to be one enemy at a time. Because the next one won't spawn, and you've killed the current enemy. And then when the next one spawns, you kill him, and then the final one will spawn. So that can be really good, guys, with choking enemies. Because as you can see here, when you're choking enemies, when others are shooting you, it can be a bit tricky. And you've got quite a small life gauge on this one as well. So you don't want to take too many hits. But yeah, just bear that in mind, guys. There will be always be four, four spawn spots. There will never be more than four enemies at a time. And once you kill one enemy, two others can spawn in its place. So four, four spawn spots and three enemies which spawn in each spot. But yeah, it's, but it's a case of just using the weapons at your disposal. But that tip can come in handy and just use and choke, you know, choking the final three enemies. Yeah, I mean, look at my sock and me. I've only got 30 bullets, so you've got to be careful. And then I've got one Nikita. At one claymore. So yeah, you've got to be careful. One C4 there. But most enemies are almost dead actually. Only two more to go. And it's these pair. That's it. And once you've got them all guys, yeah, the exit will appear on the bottom left. Yep, so that's level three. Uh, sorry, that was level two. Level three is next. Right, so I'd love a grenade, just kill a few if you can. And then start using your sort of faster weapons. Yeah, obviously if you use your C4 or your Claymore, try to wait till they're all bunched up like so. So you can kill more of one. Only 12 bullets to sock them, you don't get much with this. Yeah, I just want you to try and be strategic with your supplies, what you have. Black 7, 5 left to go. Um, I've got a few claymores. Hopefully kill 4 of one of them. Oh, that's... Oh, well, I did actually. <laughs> that's lucky. Yeah, so one more to go. Yes, yeah, so when there's one more, you can choke them with no worries at all. Uh, when there's only one on the map. Yeah, almost died there, so got pretty close. And the exit will appear on the top right. So next up is level 4. So what you can do here is slowly throw your grenades down the middle. And you kill a good bunch of them. Yes, yeah, so you've got three grenades. Kill one, and then lob another one. Then once all the rest come to inspect, that should kill them. And then lob your final one. Yep, so that's like four or five killed. Then you should sock them to kill any which are coming up to you. Right, that's all my sock them ammo gone. Right, then I'll switch to my, um, I guess, C4 or Stinger. Oh, I completely missed him then. Right, I've got three left. Remember, when trying to use C4 or Claymore, try to bait them all to run into it together. Right, one to go. There he is, so you can have a stinger. He's the lucky one. And the exit will appear in the middle, guys, on this. Right, so um, level five. Yep, so use the PSG one first to kill that guy. You've only got two bullets with this. And the guy which comes to investigate, kill him as well. Yeah, there he is. Right, once you've done that, you can run forward. And you can get like a 
you can get like a little rhythm going here. Lob a grenade, run back, because if you stay too close, they'll see you. So you lob it, run back a bit. That's it, lob it, run back. Yeah, get like a little rhythm going there, guys. So once they go to investigate the um, course of the explosion. Yeah, but if you get spotted, they will follow you. And it makes that a bit, a bit trickier. But yeah, you can get a nice rhythm there going, guys, if you don't mess it up like I did. Yep, and you can switch to your singer, or your claymores, and your C4 guys, and finish them off. Right, one more to go, I can just choke him. There you go, give him a little bear hug from behind. And they go on the exit. So next up is level 6. So, this one can be very messy. I don't think, if this one you have no ammo on. I think you have no ammo at all, so you pretty much have to choke all these, but you need to try and do it in stealth, uh, because you can get killed very, very quickly. Speedrunners say glitches by using some sort of, there's some sort of PC glitch where if you equip the PSG1 or something, it makes you sort of invincible for a short time. So you've got time to sort of choke one, and then you just kind of do a glitch to avoid damage. But yeah, we've got to do it a legit way. Us console players, we always have it harder than them. We have to do it the hard way. We are much more skilled. We do not use any glitches. But yeah, anyway. Try to kill three at a time. So do one spawn spot. And then move on to the next one. You're going to have to just keep knocking the wall. Yeah, I did that middle one first. Then you can do the left one or the right. I'm doing the right one. So just be careful. Because when the enemy comes to replace him. Depending on where you're standing. They might come to the south, they might appear from the west, or they might appear from the north. So you have to be quite responsive at this part. Once you kill them, you need to watch where the other one's coming from to respawn, uh, to replace him, and then quickly hide behind the pillar. Yeah, so like here, he's going to the south. That's it, you do not want to get seen here. Like I say, if you get seen here, guys, it messes it all up. I think I did get, I did get seen near the end, uh, but luckily most of them are dead at that point, so it's not too bad. And yeah, messed it up, got spotted. But when you are killing them, uh, when you try and kill them one at a time in stealth, just try to be careful that you do not drop them near any other enemies. Because the other enemy might hear them when they hit the ground and make a thud. Because they fall down like a sack of potatoes, makes quite a loud noise. Yeah, I guess luckily there's not many left. So, I mean, if there's four at once shooting at me, I'd probably die here. Uh, but luckily it's only two at a time. There we go guys, done it. Yeah, so you got to play that one in stealth, pretty much. Yeah, this is perhaps one of the hardest ones on this um, versus 12, if I'm honest. Yeah, it took me, took me probably a good... A good 20 minutes or so to figure that one out, the best way to do it. But that seems to be the best way, guys. Do one spawn spot at a time, knocking on the wall to attract them. So I've got uh, supplies again now. So we can use grenades for the time being. Lob a grenade there to attract the enemies. Hide around the corner. Wait for them to go to investigate. And then lob another one. Or get spotted like that, guys. And mess it all up. Right. I use claymore on them. Because they're all sort of together. Right. Lob one down there. Hopefully kill... I wonder if that's going to kill all four at once. Got a sock em. only 12 bullets, not too many, got two left. You might want to save one for yourself. Oh, almost dead here as well, bloody hell. Yep, cutting it close. You'll find that happens quite a lot with this versus 12. Right, so the exit will appear at the top, at the top and middle. And um, that's level 7 guys, one more to go. So again, just use all the weapons at your disposal and then take the exit in the middle. This map is quite large, as you just saw. Um, but you don't have much Sockham. You got PSG1 for some reason. I guess that's why it's so big. To um, 
give a reason to use the sniper rifle. But yeah, when you're using your C4 and clay mod, just try to round them all up, guys. Uh, so you get like more than one at a time. Because you don't have much ammo for your, your actual firearm, your Sockham, try to make sure you see ammo on it very well, very carefully. Oh, one more to go. Oh, caught in a close then. There we go, guys. So exit will appear in the middle. And that's versus 12. So next up is the mystery. This one can be quite fun. Um, but if you're playing in school, you probably can't even read what the text is telling you to do. What the clue is, unless you read Japanese, I guess. That's alright, because I'm here to explain it to you. So for the first one, you pretty much just have to grab the largest guard. Yeah, so grab the big guy, which is pretty obvious. Yeah, this guy, which is down the gym all the time, where is he? Yep, yeah, so... The one with the biggest shoes, I guess, if you can't tell. Yep, yeah, this one. Yep, so that's level one. Level two. Grab the guard with a yeah, a sock on his head. No, honestly, grab the guard with a sock on his head. If you run out of masks, just stick a sock on. There you go, this guy. You'll be able to smell him. That's it. Level three. The guard with no breath. Yep, so the the only one which is wash his teeth. That's the one you want to drag into the exit. Yeah, Mr. Colgate. They, there's his mouthwash. Looks after his teeth, this guy. He's got white teeth, very white teeth. Yeah, so the guy with no breath. You just stand next to him. And you can see the breath coming out of the mouth. It's the one with no breath. Yep, so number f uh, level... I've put level 6 there and it's actually level 4. Yeah, it's level 4. You probably noticed there's some glasses broken on the floor. Should have gone spec savers. Uh, so because you've got no glasses, one of these guards will walk into the wall. So you want to move them about five block, four blocks away, and they'll walk into the wall. So they've got no glasses on. They're very short sighted. So whichever one runs into the wall, and well walks into the wall, make sure you do move them about four blocks away. Otherwise, they might not walk into the wall because it's uh, not enough distance. So yeah, drag him four feet away. Whichever one walks into a wall, drag him into the exit. And this one. Chase the suspect. This one can be a little bit tricky. Try to keep track of the one which is examining the body when you spawn. He's the suspect. But if you run past the exit, you'll fail. So you need to grab him just before the exit, guys. Which is there. I mean, I tried to grab him there, but I guess a throw is good enough. So it's this guy. Yep. And then once it's at the exit, drag him into it. Like I say, if he runs past the exit, you'll fail the mission. So just follow him to it, because it's quicker. And then when he's close, just throw him or grab him quickly. And then drag him inside it. Yeah, so what's up, Johnny? We've got Johnny next. So Johnny is the one which, when he falls down, he takes the pose as a snail. Yeah, there's butt in the air. Yeah, so just knock him out. So it's obviously the him. If the other two fall flat on their face, then you know the final one's Johnny. Like I said, when you knock him down, he'll take the pose off like a snail, you know, like in the main game. Right, so, um, level seven. The one with the footprints, basically. So you're supposed to follow the, the footprints. You know, follow the footprints from the corpse to the enemy. But if you run forward, it's normally the one just on the right. And if he's not there, if you reload, if you restart until there's one just on the right as you go through that first gap, that would normally be the one. So that's what I did there. And then for this one, guys, you need to find the nervous enemy. So you want to turn the volume up for this. You'll find if you don't turn up the volume, you won't be able to hear him. And um, what you need to do is go to each guard and go into first person mode. And you're looking for the guard, which you hear his heart beating fast. Yeah, be quite distinct, you can't miss it, but like I say, you need to turn up volume, otherwise you won't be able to hear it. Just run in front of each guard, go into first person, and when you hear the heart, boom, 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 boom. That is the guy. Drag him into the exit. So level 9, you want to go into, go into this main room, then go right, and go into the bottom right room. Grab the wig, or the hair piece, as it's called. 
on integral. Yep, you'll change your hairstyle to something more fashionable. There you go. And then find the guard which will like salute you. There he is. The one which salutes you with this weapon. Here's the guy. And drag him into the exit. The ones which don't salute you are probably new on the job. So yeah, the guy which salutes you, drag him into the exit. And then level 10. Yeah, this one's weird. Smash the door open. Yeah, politely knock, like so. And then all you need to do now, just wait for five minutes. This is kind of like that movie. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. But there's a movie where at the end, the person you think is dead. After all the time, they're actually alive and they stand up. But yeah, you just got to wait for five minutes, literally five minutes, guys. And the guy will stand up. Sorry to spoil this one for you. Yeah, so I'm just going to skip to the end. No need to do anything else. Actually do another stuff actually waste time. Um, I think it delays the timer slightly. So yeah, just wait five minutes. Bit of a weird one. Yeah, there we go, guys. So did you have, yeah, did you have fun five minutes? I was reading Disney comics. Yeah, there we go. It will stand up like so. He was just having a nap. Oh, look at that. He just built his ketchup, of course. He's one of them which carries ketchup in his pocket, I guess. Yeah, so that's um, that's mystery done. Got puzzle next. This one has its fun, it's fun moments. Puzzle. Quite some unusual missions they put together here. The way you complete them. So for this first one, you need to um, you need to lob a grenade at the first enemy to make him not knock off the rest. So I normally stand here. You see them lines on the floor. Stand in the middle of that second line from the right and lob a grenade. And that should be in the right spot to make them all just knock each other off like that. Just make sure when you start, you just go directly right. Do not go up or down because otherwise that's going to knock you off slightly of the angle. This one can be a little bit messy, a bit tricky to do. Um, if you don't hit him right, he won't knock the rest off. Or some of them might not die. So you normally, I normally go down some two lines from the um, from the south. Two lines from the south on the floor. And then punch him from about there. Just do a combo, just run straight down. Like I say, it can be a bit tricky. Sometimes that just don't work. But it's, it's really simple to retry and quick. Yeah, so here, wait till he starts to walk to the right, like about there, and then shoot the floor. And I should knock him into the pit below and kill him, guys. Yeah, the pit of lava. Yeah, so you, like I say, you want to try and hit the floor below him, but make it so the rocket lands to the left of him, and that will sort of knock him into that pit below. This one can be a little bit tricky. So you want to come onto the second step. From the second step, you can shoot all the targets. And then your first rocket will destroy most of them. And then just try to get them two or few, which are behind the wall still. Yeah, it can be a bit tricky, this. You've got to try to shoot through the holes, like so. Yeah, you got to, like, aim and then sort of flick your target away from the um, target. Uh, sorry, flick your, your cursor away from the target to actually make it go through the hole. Yeah, like so. So you got to lock on and then quickly flick to the right or to the left or wherever. Like I say, it can be a bit tricky. You can readjust your position if you want to. You don't have to do it from the second step like I'm doing. I just find this a good, a good place to do it from because you can get every one from the second step. And then what's got more guys come in the exit? Yep, so level five. You've got just enough ammo to do this. Literally just enough. Um, but try not to stop because if the guards see you, you'll fail the mission. Yeah, so just shoot one stack of targets and then stop. Run to the next, start shooting. Run to the next, start shooting again. And keep doing that, guys. Like I say, you just got enough bullets. There we go. Perfect. Right, level six up next. Yeah, so I normally come up here first, stand about here, and kill these three targets first. 
Wait for it to go past some first two and then it should destroy the one above as well. And then you want to shoot it over here and you want it to go in that hole. Go into first person if you need to. Yep. Through that hole and out the far end. And then you want to come around the north side. And there'll be two other slopes there you can go up. And then, yeah, mess that one up. And then you want to go up the slope on the west side, which I just blew up on. So again. Yeah, it can be, can be a little bit tricky, this one. Which is not really tricky. It's just getting your nictus in line. So you don't hit a wall. Yes, yeah, so you go at that hole in the wall. And they've got them two slopes to the north. And then go up the slope to the west. Yep, and then slope to the east. And they should be able to get the two blocks at the top in them. Above that H. Yep, yeah, these two here. To detonate the nicotine at mid-air, you need to unequip it. And that's what you have to do there. Unequip when the missile is below them. And then here, stand in the middle of that slope. Don't go any far forward or the blast might kill you. So kill them three. Or was it two? Yep, and then you come down here to the lowest point. And if I nick it all the way over here to the bottom of the H, the tower, and destroy them too. And then come across here, drop down here, and stand halfway down that little slope. And then kill them two. Destroy these two. And then the final two to the south. Yeah, just send your rocket to the south here. And come from come from the back. Yep, and then go on the exit in the middle, guys. You got five minutes to do it. Got plenty of time. Right, um, level seven next. So you got to carefully grab the claymores without being seen here. The problem is you can't see where they are because you have no mine detector. They're basically in the middle. So try to make sure you're as close as possible so you don't waste any time. And then crawl when you're near the middle like so and quickly run back. And then you have to use a claymore and set it off yourself guys to destroy the wall. So put one down and then run into a blast. You should survive because you've got loads of HP. And you go to the exit. I was a bit worried there that my other claymore was still down so I put two down then. Yep, that's level 7. So level 8. Right, so follow me exactly here. You want to run to the far left corner and you want to look northeast. Directly northeast and lob a grenade. So far left corner, northeast, and throw a grenade. Then run to the third line from the left, throw a grenade forward. Then do the opposite the other side. Third line from the right, lob a grenade forward. And then go to top right and look northwest and lob a grenade. That's it, that'll do them all, guys. If you follow them specific commands. So third line from the left, third line from the right, throw a grenade forward. Then in both the top left and top right corners, and then throw a grenade either northwest or northeast, depending on what side of the corner you're on. Right, this one can be a bit tricky, guys. So you want to knock on the wall, but time it so you can run past here. Just has he sort of turns his eyesight for a moment. Then put a C4 about there. Yeah, when you knock on the wall, you wait a moment and then start running. And then as he walks back, you need to quickly put a C4 on his back. Then you set off that first C4 to knock him through there. And then the C4 you put on his back, you have to detonate that when he's in midair near that camera. And that should destroy the camera. You need to detonate it when he's in midair. If you wait for him to land, it will not reach a camera. So yeah, that bit's a bit tricky, guys, that one. Just watch me, just watch me again. Slow it down if you need to. See what I'm doing. But yeah, that works pretty well. Now for here, I always go and punch this guy. Just go and combo him and then quickly come up here. Grab the claymore quickly and then quickly run past before he looks over there you can crawl past that gap if you want you don't have to punch him um, but just punch him just a little bit quicker so yeah punch him don't let him see you if he sees you fail this go and grab a claymore and then start coming down here now you want to follow your footprints but do not go too far ahead because your footprints eventually disappear that's why you have to sort of keep up with him a little bit and um, when you're running along a parallel path to him Try to wait for his eyesight's not looking in your direction, otherwise he'll see you. And occasionally he'll stop and look behind him. You watch him, watch him. Yeah, see, he'll stop and look behind him, so just be careful when he does that. Yeah, he does it like probably every like, what, two, two or three seconds he'll do it. 
Like I say, do not get too far away. You can't just run straight to the end because your footprints will disappear. So this way you have to sort of keep up with him. And then once at the end, guys, you're going to use that single claymore. And he's going to run into it and destroy the wall for you. Yeah, just be careful there because I've done it before. I've run down uh, and then he stopped and turned around and he see me. So make sure you wait until he walks to the far side of the wall before you go down the other far side and then put a claymore down. And there you go. That's a mystery done, guys. No, sorry, not mystery, puzzle. So variety's next. Just going to make a save. Yes, this first one of variety, you're going to grab a fire guard and you're going to drag him into that small square where he starts. Uh, sorry, not where he starts. Down to the south. Uh, but you need to kill him in there. So don't choke him all at once. What I normally do is um, wait for him to start struggling and then that's when you want to choke again. So when he starts to flap around, press square again to choke him again. That's it. And then once you're in the square, tap it a few times to finish him off. And there you go, guys. Level 1 done. Right, so this guy, you need to knock him down the hole. So you want to knock on this wall directly in front of you. Just behind. Yeah, knock on that wall. Then come two blocks north. And wait. Just keep knocking and he should hear this. Yeah, there you go. He should hear that. Now, when he walks, whatever direction he's walking, go in the opposite direction. Come up behind him, guys. And punch him from behind to knock him down the hole like so. That's it. That might take you a few attempts. But it's not too bad. Yeah, so level 3 next. you got to punch all the enemies into the holes below. So I normally punch him first. And then the two, three, um, the top three, sorry, uh, to the north. Yeah, then these three. And then that guy to the west. There you go. Right, level 4 next. Yeah, so for this one, some of the speedrunners, they actually lob all these off the edge. But it's pretty tricky to do because if you get seen, you fail this. So what you want to do, you want to hug the wall like so. Put yourself against the wall and you want to put C4 in between each enemy. Just stop in the middle. Do not let go of the wall in the earlier or they will see you. Yeah, just let go of the wall. Place the C4 down in the middle. Go back against the wall and move over to the next, the next two. That's it. Once you've done so, guys, go all the way back across and then set off the MC4. Like I say, there's a quick way where you throw them all in, but it's, it's really tricky to do. There you go. Yep, the exit's down the um, bottom left. Forgot then. Yep, so level 5 next. Right, so you need to try and get in the exit when a gap appears. So what you're going to try and do is knock out one of the guards quickly. And then there'll be a small gap. Try to get between the veal division from all the other enemies and get in the exit. So yeah, just knock one out from behind. And then while avoiding the other enemies' eyesight, quickly run into the exit. So for this one, you've got five invisible enemies. And do not want them to spot you. So make sure you're not too close. You can be sort of in front of them. Just make sure you're not too close, otherwise they will see you. If you think you're going to be too close, just knock on the wall to get him out. Like that guy there, I'm going to have to get him out to play it safe. And then just get a good distance away and get ready to shoot him, guys. Let's come around the corner. So that's three, I believe. I think there's two more to go. Like this guy, I've got a good distance here. He won't be able to see me. And then one more. That guy, I'm going to pull him out of the way by knocking the wall. There you go, that's all of them guys. And then the exit will appear in the middle. So just crawl through a crawl space, get back to the middle. And there we go. Impressive. Yes, level 7 next. Yeah, so all these targets will try to get inside you or give you a kiss or whatever. 
you got to try and destroy them all before they get close. This one is a little bit tricky, actually, if I'm honest. Yeah, you'll have one appear, and then two will appear, and then a bunch of three or four will appear, and then loads will appear at once. Like I said, they're all coming towards you to say hello. So quickly. Yeah, you got to be really quick, guys. I mean, if some of them are getting too close, try to focus on the ones getting too close first. If you're lucky or good, you'll be able to destroy more than one with a single stinger. Yeah, now this is where it gets even worse. Yeah, you've got to destroy all these guys before they get close. I already missed. I think I just do this in time, actually. I think I got lucky. Yeah, I got lucky there, because that one killed like four at once. And then once you killed them all, guys. Yep, that's it. Level eight up next. Now you want to kill four targets from the bottom. Do not shoot the guards or you'll fail. Now, when you shoot the targets, your bullet will not penetrate them. So if the guards are behind the target, that is okay. It will not hit them. So yeah, kill that one on the left first. If the guards are too close, like I say, wait for the guards to go behind it and then shoot the target. And that will work. Yep, and then shoot this one. Yeah, so you kill four from where you start. And once you kill the four, go to the third floor. So this is floor number two. Grab that dazed pan and then come up to floor number three. Now from here, you want to shoot the target in the middle now, in between them all. Uh, but you need to wait for the middle guard to move. So you equip your dazed pan and once he moves, shoot it at the top its highest point. Otherwise you might hit a guard. And that's it guys, that's how you do that one. And the exit will appear back at the bottom. So level 9 and 10 are very, very similar. You've got to run to the end guys, shooting all the targets. But be careful, you will run out of ammo if you're not accurate. So yeah, just be, just be a little bit careful here. You've got plenty of time, you might want to stop between each bunch of targets like I'm doing. Uh, because if you stop and shoot, you'll be more accurate rather than running and gunning. You know, I'm glad. I'm actually glad they took these out of the main, out of Metal Gear Solid Two and uh, Two and Three. I noticed in the um, in the PS3 edition of Metal Gear Solid Two, I know there's a trophy there for doing all the VR missions. Um, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'd rather do big boss rank in the story, the campaign, than do all these bloody VR missions again and again. Yeah, with this, you'll, you'll find the next bunch of targets will not spawn until you've destroyed the bunch before. So you can sort of tell if you've missed any because the targets further on will not spawn. That's sort of a good idea, you know, to remind you that yes, you haven't missed any, don't worry. Yeah, so carefully do this, guys. Like I say, you can run out of ammo if you're not careful. I've done it a few times and I've had to restart. Yeah, you see, you'll see the other target spawn once you've killed a bunch. But I think this is last batch. I've actually got loads of ammo left on this one. Yeah, luckily they all only take one shot each to destroy them. They are pretty fragile. crazy to believe I've actually run out of ammo on that before and I didn't even use half here. Right, so you just got to do all that again now, but with the Famous. Famous is even less accurate. You do get more ammo, but it's like less accurate, so be very careful. I think I've run out of the Famous like twice or something. The problem is, sometimes you have to shoot um, to actually get your lock on to work, don't you? Yeah, so if you run and gun, you're going to miss a lot of targets, so just be careful. Steady shots, keep your finger on the trigger, but nice steady shot. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's just the same again. Same as the, so uh, the Sokken, but with the Famous. You know, this will probably help doing, you know, doing these first before the, the campaign. And just because it gets you, it gets you um, ready and you use the controls ready for a campaign, doesn't it? Um, I've just I've just done these last because I want I wanted to do a I wanted to cover the campaign first. That's why I wanted to get out that fox video, fox rank video, before anything. Um, but yeah, the once we do get onto Metal Gear Solid 2, guys, the order of the order I upload the videos for it, I think. Because you have to do, I think I think, I think the general consensus is you have to do four playthroughs. But I think you might be able to do it in three. Uh, but that means collecting dog tags on your extreme big boss playthrough. If that's too difficult, then I might do it in four. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to go three to begin with. But it might be four. We'll just see. Uh, but if it does end up being three, then it's because I think it's easy enough to do. You know, with my guidance. Probably not if you're playing blind, but of course, following a guide, it's all up to, um, you know, what I decide as guide author. But yeah, so um, I'm going to do very easy, and then uh, easy, and I'll get into extreme, because you need to get all the, like I say, you need to get all the dog tags on two, on three or four difficulties. So yeah, we've at least got three playthroughs on Metal Gear Solid 2, and I'm going to upload it. It's got, basically, I'm going to try and do one video per playthrough, guys. Yeah, one video per playthrough is going to be. Um, but yeah, this one here, uh, which got to destroy all the targets. Um, but once you destroy them all, guys, a massive boss target will appear. And they will come towards you. So try to shoot any which are getting too close. If you don't want to take any damage. And when the boss spawns, be ready. Because you've got, you've got about 5 or 10 seconds to kill him. And then you'll automatically die. So you've got to be really quick, guys. So if, since you've shot 20, be ready. Try not to miss. His health goes down really quick, but you've got to make sure you're hitting him. That's it. And just keep spamming rockets at him. Make sure you're accurate. Like I said, if you miss too many, you're not going to kill him in time. Yep, he's going to adopt you. And you do not want him to probe you, trust me. You do not want to get probed by that guy. Because he goes in. He goes in the entrance where the sun doesn't shine. So yeah, you've got to take him out really quickly. And um, that's it. That's what happens. Right, for this one, there's going to be a massive giant. Now, I don't know exactly how this works. Um, but eventually, he'll die. But he's got no health gauge. Um, but all I just seem to do, I just keep spamming rockets at him, guys. Just keep spamming rockets. Try. I always try to hit him in the middle. Yeah, so just keep spamming rockets. Yeah, if any of them miss, it's because you're not hitting the center. He's got like three targets you can hit. And um, if you go for the middle of his belt, that normally hits him. And once you've done enough damage, he'll fall down like that. And that'll end the mission, guys. So yeah, you just got to keep shooting him. He doesn't have a health gauge, but I think he's got a hidden one. Um, so just, it's just a means of keep shooting him like so. We got plenty of rockets, so you can just spam him. Now for this one, wait a moment, and you want to shoot that guy and knock him down. You need to knock him down, so shoot him in his backside. Yeah, shoot him in the middle target. Yeah, you want to knock him down. Or shoot him in his leg, I guess that works. But yeah, knock him down and then leave him. Now he's going to get upset with his mate, and they're going to get in like a bit of a, a scrap. And just let him fight it out. You know, leave us between them. We're not going to get involved. It's a fair fight, so we'll leave them to it. Some of them need to resolve on their own. And if you're getting a bit bored, you can try to jumpstart Meryl's heart, like so. Yeah, so let him fight between them. Yeah, king of the monster, king of the <laughs> king of the dweebs here. Alright, so are they Godzilla and King Kong? No idea what they're doing. They're going to hug it out, I guess. Yep, yeah, and yeah, there's actually water around you, if you didn't know. There you go, that's it guys, there's 13 on variety. 
weird number there with them once. But yeah, 13. So all we've got left is VR Mission, uh, Ninja, and um, New Game. I don't know what it stands for. NG Selection. Don't know what that stands for. Um, but yeah. So VR Mission, guys. You need to pretty much do all of these within the time limit. You can restart each stage. Um, but if you fail the time, you have to restart them all again. So as soon as you start, up here, go left around him. Go right, and that guy should turn to the left. That's it, like so. Keep to the left as you come around here, and then in the top exit. Yeah, follow my route exactly, guys. So that's stage one. Stage two, grab the Sockham on the right. Yeah, on this this VR mission, you pretty much got you got to plan ahead for every single one. Yeah, so grab the Sockham on the right. Grab the Sockham, uh, knock on the wall there. And then as the guard comes to investigate, hide on the right, grab a Sockham Suppressor, throw this guy, and then come the exit. He's actually sleeping, so you could probably just run past him without doing anything. But yeah, do that in the same way. Remember, after the trapdoor, I knocked on that nearest wall to get the guard, and I, I went on the right. So here, do the little trick where you keep equipping and unequipping your weapon, guys, so you don't make any noise on the loud floor. And then you can just run to the top here, and behind him like so, and in the exit. Yeah, you don't die if you get alerted, but you can take a lot of damage. And if you die, you've got to restart from stage one again. So grab C4, come in the middle here, and grab the Nikita. I don't really need these, but I grab them just in case. I think I do uh, use it at the end, but I don't really need it. But yeah, I grab them just in case you run out of ammo. Right, and then a knock on the wall. Any either of the, either the left or the right guard, knock on the wall, get their attention. Then when you turn around... Go and grab him and choke him, guys. But make sure you choke him not too close to the other two because you do not want to aggro them. So, yeah, make sure you're not too close. There you go, and drop him. Remember, they fall down like a sack of potatoes. Quite noisy. Now, wait. you got the sock and you got a suppressor. Wait for them both to have the back turns so a window present, presents itself. There you go. And then run down to the wall in the middle. Shoot it three times, the suppressor. Do not use any more bullets. Just three times. And they go on the exit, guys. Right, so stage five. Just come to laser, equip your cigarettes, and then go through it. And you want to crawl along here, guys, because there's claymore stand. So once you get to a laser, equip your six to see where it is, and then crawl beneath it. Unequip it between because it will damage you. Keep crawling, remember there's claymore here. And you want to try and be quick. You see that enemy coming back on the right. If you're quick enough, you can just get into the exit. There you go. Yep, so stage six next. So you're going to quickly grab the pretty strong gun on the right and the ammo for it. Then quickly go left, hide behind, uh, sorry, beneath the camera. And from here, you're going to snipe all these enemies. So one enemy will come, this guy here, he'll try to come over to you. So you want to make sure you get him. So that's three killed. There's four enemies in total, guys. I always snipe all these. just makes it a bit simpler. And it's quite easy to snipe him here. You've just got to make sure you kill that guy before he walks across a bridge. But I believe I killed him second. Yep, and then once you killed them all, cross the bridge. And head into the exit, guys. The ammo there, sock and bullet times 10. The, the final enemy normally drops them. The final enemy you kill. I don't know if it's random. Um, that it don't drop or if it's a glitch. Uh, but yeah, normally final enemy will drop them. Right here, go up, right, up. Be very quick here. Here, and hide behind this wall. You see that guy just on the right, just turn around. You hide here. Now he's going to walk left, and then he's going to walk back down. There he goes. Once he does so, come over here and wait. You're going to see this guy just above, well, two enemies here. Yeah, when this, the other enemy walks back, and this guy yawns, starts to go to sleep, come and choke him. Once you killed him, Grab the PSG-1 bullets, come along this wall, keep to the bottom so that guy above doesn't see you. And then equip the Sockham guys, destroy this wall, and take the exit. Yeah, notice my time, it's from, my time from each stage is counting towards the overall time. Now from here, equip the PSG-1 guys, you're going to kill this enemy, look at my radar to see where I'm looking. He'll come back around this corner in a second, there he is, kill him first. And then look east. And kill that guy. Ignore the guy going up the steps for a moment. Kill him. Guy number two. And then another guy should come and investigate him. There we go. Guy number three. And the guy on the same level as you. Guy number four. 
that's all the enemies. If you alert them, more will spawn. And the last enemy should drop a sock and bullet times two. I've had that not drop before though. Don't know if it's because it's random or a glitch. Right, and then come grab the grenades, guys, in the bottom left corner. Come up here and stand on the sort of first line uh, next to the window and lob a grenade. It'll hit a window. It should destroy about 16 targets and then lob one more inside from the same spot. And that should destroy all the remaining targets. And that may the exit appear. Right, stage nine. So quickly go forward, and then go left, and then hide behind the fourth block on the left. So the fourth block on the left, hide behind it, but you need to crouch as well, because it's only one block high. Now once he turns around, run up to him and choke him, guys. Yeah, I kept missing him here, and it almost became fatal. But you want to quickly choke him, and then that guy should be there, facing away, and you want to quickly get in the exit before he turns around. Um, but what happened there is because I didn't choke that guy first time, um, I just took a bit longer and that's why I saw me. But normally, if you choke that guy first time without any mistakes, you'll get past that guy before he turns back and faces you. And you get in the exit without any alarms. Right, so this is final stage, guys. So there's four enemies here. Alerting them will not trigger anymore. You've just got to destroy these four enemies. So it's fairly easy. You can use Nick on that first guy to the west if you want. And the guy which goes to investigate, kill him with the sniper rifle. And then there's two more left. You have some Nikita missiles left to kill these, or your sniper rifle, or you've probably got loads of sock on bullets, or C4 even. So you've got plenty of ammo, guys, and this is the last one. So even if you didn't get some of that sock on bullets drop, you've got plenty of ammo to use, and it's only four enemies. No more will respawn here. Yeah. And that's it, guys. A VR mission done in five minutes. Snake. I like that strategy. I think that strategy is quite easy to do as well. Right, and Ninja. So Ninja, there's only three levels on Ninja, guys. And new game selection, there's only eight. So not far left to go. Yeah, so three levels, like I say. To unlock Ninja, you have to complete the main game on any difficulty above very easy. But you have to get the highest rank for that difficulty. Uh, we did Fox rank. So this first one, you have to just destroy 15 like wooden posts. Don't worry about the enemies. 15 wooden posts. Doesn't matter if they see you. So do the that one on the right. And then these three in the top right. I use square to attack. And then that one on top left. And then jump on these top left crates. And then make way to the south. And destroy that one. Yeah, to um, destroy... To attack someone without moving, press circle. Yep, and then that target there. And then jump back over here, get that one. And then jump to the south, get that one. Jump to the east. Get that one there. Over here, get that target on this highest crate here. That should be 11. And there should be four more in the middle, guys. And they can go through the exit. Yeah, so normally just use square to attack. But if you ever need to stand still and attack something, I think it, I think it's circle. Yeah, there we go, guys. Level 1. Um, so level 2, you've got to kill all 30 enemies. And what will happen here is um, the rest... Don't actually spawn until you've killed... I think four enemies can spawn at once. Um, so I normally kill that first one in front of you on the right. Yep, and then I'll wait in this sort of hole up here. I mean, just around the corner, just here so you can see the enemies come in. And kill them all from here as they spawn. Hopefully, you've got four coming for you. But it's possible only three will come. If that happens, it's likely then one is back near the entrance and he's just not aggroed for whatever reason it happens but yeah just stay here killing them as many as you can as you spawn in if this happens where three all spawn together it makes it quite easy because you can just run up to and press square and kill three at once without taking any damage do not use your stealth attack or um your well your stealth camo or the um or the electric attack because it'll actually drain your health yeah so once you stop spawning like I say, that's because it's probably this guy back near the entrance up here. Yep, and they'll keep spawning from the entrance. If not, they'll probably spawn somewhere else. Uh, but you can just look around in first person to see them. But we've got most of them. Yeah, one more to go. And that's it. And the exit guys will appear back to the north. And the final one's very, very quick. you got to look for a snake and kill him. But if you get seen, you fail the mission. 
Snake, he's not got a mask on, so you're just looking for a snake's haircut, I guess. There's four possible spawn spots. I'm not sure we can spawn right in front of you. This guard here. Wait for him to walk past, like I say. Because if you get spotted, it will fail the mission. You can just look around in first person. Oh, there he is. You see? He's got black hair. There'll be that guy near the entrance. This guy to the north. There'll be a guy on the left and the guy on the right. And when you go to kill him, you might want to activate your stealth camo. Just so you're not seen. Just in case he turns around. And then once you killed him, guys, go on the exit. And that's all the ninja missions done. So the final one to do is NG selection, whatever that stands for, I think. I mean, I'd imagine new game, but I have no idea. But yeah, make a safe. Eight levels to do, guys, and that's it. We've got platinum. Yeah, no idea what it stands for. NG selection. So you want to grab all the claymore here. There's five claymore. You have to get all these to make the exit appear. Just be careful because I find with these, the proximity is a bit weird. Like, it would look like you're not even close. Um, but it will detonate. So just be very careful. Play that one very, very safe. Yeah, level one. Um, level two. You want to lob a grenade as soon as you spawn. So as soon as you spawn in, guys, lob a grenade. Yeah, as soon as you spawn, spam it. That's it. And then hide to the left. And that should kill him. That's it. If you don't lob it straight away, then he might get a chance to walk one or two steps away. And he might not take full damage and it won't kill him. That's it. These guys are like super soldiers. Right, for this one, it's a game of, I guess, squid game, this one is. So he's got massive range of vision, this guy. You've got use your cardboard box, wait for him to turn around, run forwards. And then after a few seconds, you equip your cardboard box before he turns back again. And then wait for him to investigate. And then once he does, run up behind him, guys, and choke him. Yep, their weakness is still their neck, though. They're stronger enemies, but their weak is still as, uh, their neck is as weak as all the rest, luckily. Right, level four. Wait a very brief moment, and then shoot the crystal in front. Just wait, shoot. There you go. I waited literally like a few moments then, and then shoot. That's how to get them all at once. If not, it doesn't matter. Your time limit's 35. If any of them don't blow up, just go and destroy them on the way to the exit in the middle there. Yeah, I mean, I've got like 15 seconds remaining. So you don't have to destroy them all at once. Yeah, the yin yang. Right, level 5. Play this one safe. Just crawl over the um, loud floor. Just crawl over it, guys. Place it. It's a much safer way. Because that floor makes a massive racket. It basically sounds like C4 when you walk over it. Yeah, just crawl along it. Very, very simple. That first guard we've passed, he is awake and he is sort of looking to the east. And there's a, there's only one block there. So there's sort of like a small window we can see you. So you have to keep crawling here. So you crawl beneath his eyesight, his line of sight. There you go. And once you're out of this um, field division, you can run to the exit, guys. Level six. Right, so you want to do this very, very quickly. Straight away, shoot the target in the... So you've got the four holes in the middle, right? You've got the four holes in the middle. Straight away, equip your sniper rifle. Four holes in the middle, shoot the top left hole, then the top right, and then the bottom right. If you don't do that quick enough, that bit gets really messy, guys. And you've got to shoot in front of the target a little bit, anticipate where it's going for it to land. But yeah, same as me, like I say. Imagine the four targets in the middle, and shoot top left, top right, and bottom right. And then restart it if you don't do it in time. So here, as when you get to the top of steps, start crawling. And you want to crawl all the way down to here. Yeah, so run to the top of steps and crawl down. And once the path narrows into two blocks wide, hide behind the wall here. Now he's going to go sleep in a minute. There you go. Once you go to sleep, you're going to start crawling towards him. Now you've only got... A You've got a small window to do this because he will wake up eventually. Just crawl to him, guys, and then quickly grab him and choke him. There you go. That's the easy way to do it. There's another way where you use a stinging missile, but it's quite tricky to do uh, because you've got to be very accurate to hit him on time. If you miss, you get spotted and you fail. But yeah, that's the easy way. Um, for this one, guys, all you're going to do is wait 
for the um, for suspect because suspects always returns to the crime, the scene of the crime. I know it's an old saying used quite a lot, but it's it's very very true. You'll see here. Metal Gear Solid proves that it's a fact. Yeah, he's he's going to come back and he's going to pick up something. And when he does, we're going to grab him from behind and drag him to the exit, guys. And that'll be a final mission. And the Platinum Trophy, finally. Yeah, he's just checking, making sure the coast is clear. But little, little does he know that Solid Snake is waiting around the corner. Yeah, so wait for him to crouch and grab whatever it is he's grabbing. And then grab him from behind. I think he grabbed his wallet, did he? He's only got a bus ticket in there, mate, unfortunately. Right, that's it, level 8. And once you've done all VR missions, you'll be 100% and you'll get like a small little scene. I didn't read it, so it's just Japanese, but... Oh, no, it's not. But yeah, I didn't read it anyway, I skipped past it. But yeah, once you have... Yep, you got it, guys. Practice makes perfect. And following that, the Platinum. Yeah, practice makes perfect and then... Solidified, I think it's called. I think that's a pretty cool um, platinum name, Solidified. So that's all the VR missions done, guys. Like I say, next it will be Metal Gear Solid 2, but I might do one of the PS Plus extra games before I jump onto it. I had to cut it there because I was looking at that trophy for about two minutes. And there we go, guys, Solidified. Collect all trophies. That's it. So you've got my Fox my um, Fox Rank trophy. We've got to do the campaign in 1.5 playthroughs. Um, and then you've got all the VR missions here. I am going to release all these in one single Platinum video. So I hope it helped, guys. VR missions and the Fox Rank guides. And all the story trophies. And then you've got all this. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you on the next one. Just make sure you do save this. Uh, just in case you do want to return to this at any point.